Good morning, everybody. It's still morning here on this fine Wednesday. Good to have you on the program today. Let me go ahead and get the appropriate chap, uh, chats up. There's, Let me go ahead and get the... There we go. There's Facebook. Let's get YouTube chat up. So I can see all of you fine people. Facebook. Let's get YouTube chat up. There we go. Thanks for joining me for another broadcast of Starfield. Good to see you all today. We had quite a broadcast yesterday. We finally went to the Red Mile, the casino, and the human sport event, and we survived. That's the important thing. I think today we'll explore the Red Mile a little bit just so that we can get every nook, nook and uh, cranny explored, and then we'll continue with the Freestar Collective primary plot. Wayne Azing is in the chat. There we go. Aloha, Oxhorn. Hardcore. Hardcore to the mega. Thank you, Wayne Azing. Good to see Steven, Ruby, Toby, Alicia on uh, Facebook. And then on YouTube, we've got Zartu, Animus, Ars, Tyler Rowley, Mr. Jocked, Zartu, 200 Angel, Laura Elstad, Matt Rowland, Jersey, Pardon. the Vivid Kiwi. It's so good to see all of you. Well, as you can see, we're, we're still in the Red Mile. We've got everybody uh, talking around us. Let me pause that really quickly so that I can hear myself think. Elliot says, talk to ship tech for shielded cargo in skin jammers. Is that sold here at the Red Mile? Okay. Alicia Wolf on uh, Facebook says, Hey, Ox, off work in an hour, nine hours, pretty tired. Well, I'm glad you're here, Alicia. Hopefully, you'll be able to rest up. Well, uh, Julian Z in the chat says, Hi, Ox, so good to see you on this Starfield Wednesday. Hope you're well. How is Admiral doing at home? Yeah, we picked Admiral up last night, and he's doing much better. He is eating, which is great news. He's eating human food, which he's not supposed to have, but he's also eating dog food. So he's uh, eating a variety of things. He got home and drank a big thing of water and ate a big hearty meal and then laid himself down and slept. He slept, he slept, he slept, which is really good for him. He's on a variety of medications. We medicated him last night. We medicated him again this morning. He'll be on the meds for about two weeks now. Or about two weeks until we can take him off. Uh, the tricky thing is going to be with Grits. Because, you know, my puppy Grits, he loves Admiral. And they love playing together. But Grits likes to play a little rough. And uh, typically we can let them outside and they can romp and roar and have a good time and no dog gets hurt. But with Admiral actively recovering, we can't have him jumping around and being overly active for a good, you know, week and a half, two weeks. We need him to recover. Uh, but of course you can't explain this to a puppy. So we have to keep them apart which is very difficult for the puppy because he just wants to play with Admiral and he doesn't understand. So you may hear him barking in the background a little bit while he expresses his displeasure. Don't worry, I've got uh, someone coming to the house in a bit who will be able to take Grits out on walks to keep him entertained. But yeah, uh, it, the, the cutest thing was seeing Chowder react to Admiral coming home I don't know if it was all the strange hospital smells all over Admiral or um, Admiral or Chowder just 
really glad to see him, but he was super attached to Admiral. He cuddled right up to Admiral. He was sniffing him. He was licking his fur. The two of them are best buds. So it was really cute. Jillian Z, thank you so much. Matt Rowland says, Ox, did you see my tweet? Horizon Forbidden West confirmed for PC early 2024. You're going to love it, Ox. It's now listed in Steam 2. That's great, Matt Rowland. Thank you so much. I'll have to check that out. I'm excited to play Horizon Forbidden West as I missed it uh, on the PlayStation, but I'm glad it's finally coming to the PC. Okay, let's dive back in. <clears throat> so here we were. We just completed the Red visit. Mile. He we can talked get rowdy with in Donovan. here sometimes, but we try to keep things civil. Well done. Look at that. You've still got all your limbs. And everyone is really proud you must of be us. Tougher than you look. That was impressive. Don't see a lot of people survive the mile. Listen to how proud they are. It's a are pleasure of to me. have you. They think I'm amazing. Let's see what they're keeping down here. We've got bathrooms. Oh man, there's always a pile of blood in every bathroom we go. Look at this. Jeez, what? <laughs> Do people really cut themselves shaving this much? We've got surgical scissors here. Just bloody rags. I mean, really? This is supposed to be a restaurant. Why? <laughs> Everything's so bloody. All right, take a dive. It's simple. I'll bet it all against you. We sneak out when no one's paying attention, drop a corpse that looks like you. I know a guy who used to work at Enhance who does great back alley work on Neon. They won't suspect nothing. You'll find cover, slip out of there when the coast is clear, hit the meetup spot, a spot and split the winnings 80-20. 20% should be more than enough for you, since I'm the one who got to do all the wheeling and dealing, making the bets and all. I'm the one making all the money here. All you gotta do is make it past the first section out there. Fight a few beasties, find a hidey hole, and survive the night. Easy peasy. If you agree, find me and return this slate. You're about to be rich, buddy boy. Well, that might explain all of the blood in the bathroom. That, that might explain it. Come on, cigar. <coughs> I hear you're one of the runners to watch. Don't know if it was brave or stupid, but at least you survived. People will be talking about this for a while. May runs a tidy establishment. Let's keep it that way. Nothing quite like the excitement of a run. Touch screen to learn more. Red Mile leaderboard. Top file five Red Mile runners, successful runs. Donovan Rees, 28. Lat, uh, Latika Rianti, 25. Arnie Richardson, 22. Tank, 19. Valerie Vega, 18. Your current successful runs, one.
Well, as fun as that was, I don't know if I'm gonna do it again. Hello. Howdy. You gonna try it again? I wouldn't. Maybe, maybe sometime. Your payment. John, Jake, whatever your name was, I had to run. I'm late to my anniversary dinner. I left the money I owe you with May. She said she'd take care of it. Good bet. You won fair and square. Might be my last anniversary. We'll see. Olga. Ruining your life with a bet. Get back with a drink from the barn and enjoy yourself. I had a feeling about you. Okay, let's check this out and then we'll go upstairs. That was impressive. If you're looking to register, you'll need to speak to Ms. Divine. And there she is, Ms. Divine. Ooh, I really want to read her computer, but I gotta get her out of this office. All right, let's continue with the quest and talk to May Divine. Time for me to keep my promise, Runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. What else can you tell me about him? He's intelligent, well-connected, and utterly ruthless. He's also a man of taste who appreciates the finer things. You'll find out soon enough what I mean. What did your message say about me? Only that someone wanted a meeting. Don't expect to catch him unprepared. He keeps a sizable force of mercenaries aboard his ship as bodyguards. Oh man, it's gonna be the scrow all over again. Well, then I'll be heading to Kodos. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again? It will be here, waiting for you. That's great, thank you. All right, now, it used to be in games. Oh, she's getting up to leave. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna do a quick save. There you go, walk off, walk off, that's right. Hidden. All right, top only. Top only. Wow, tight security here. Maze computer. Attachments five, recent contract renewal. You're making a good choice keeping us under contract, May. Even if they could break their jurisdiction, Freestar Rangers wouldn't keep you half as safe as we can. I know some of our contractors have a reputation for being rough around the edges, maybe even rude, but that reputation is part of why your establishment is so safe with us. You'll notice that incidents of debtors skipping out have been down 79% since we started. Physical altercations between patrons are down 52%, and pirate attacks? They're virtually non-existent. So remember that when it comes time for our annual rates to go up. It's not just safer, it's good business sense. I'm not a doctor. May, you gotta stop sending your injured runners my way. I don't have medical training. Best I've got is staples, glue, tape, and a lot of absorbent materials. These people need more than what I can provide them, and I'm pretty sure the reason some of them haven't come back is because they died in transit to a real hospital. Don't be cheap, May. Hire a damn doctor. I'm sure you can find one seedy enough for your operation on Neon. Hell, I might even know a guy who knows a guy. Long. Successful extraction. 
Ms. Devine, your tip was most appreciated. Our tracker was able to find Mr. Whiting at your establishment and extract him without causing a scene. Your patrons were none the wiser. That should settle the matter our employer hired us to take care of, and we no longer require your services at this time. Thank you for your cooperation, and feel free to reach out if you ever require our services. Z, hmm, where have we heard that name before? Quarterly report. I'll drop by sometime with the full report, but I wanted to share with you the good news. Earnings have been up this quarter by 14%, despite the retirement of your most popular runner. Costs have only increased by 1.5%. So whatever you're doing, I recommend keeping it up. Gingy. And finally, fire in the kitchen. First, let me say, sorry, May. It was a real slow night and no orders were coming in. And we just wanted to see what would happen if we tried to cook one of the little creatures that came crawling up that Gary found outside. We didn't know it had produced that much smoke that quickly when we baked it. And we didn't know the smell would be so rank. You can take the cost of a new oven out of my pay. Just please don't fire me. I need this job. Zara. Wow. All right. Did we get caught? Anything good in there? No. All right. Successful stealth. Okay, let's finish exploring by going upstairs. One second, getting a phone call. Sometime. Talk to May and she'll fill you in. Hello. Look at that. You still got all your limbs. I hear you're one of the runners to watch. Okay, sorry about that, everybody. I swear to God. I'm on duty. Let's get the hell out of my face. Oh, it's loud down there. Okay, so these must be the hotel rooms. Remember, we could purchase a room or rent a room for the night. Last will and testament. Not even sure this is legally binding, but here it goes. I lost it all. All of my credits. I lost my ship. I'm supposed to pay for this hotel room, but I can't even do that. And I don't know how I'm going to get off this rock. I'm doing the only thing I can and signing up to run the Red Mile. If I don't come back, this document serves as my final wishes. To my mother, Michaela, I leave my meatball shop the spicy, spacey meatball. I know it was yours to begin with, but you'll know what to do with it better than Gino will. To my son, Gino, you can have everything in my apartment, especially the music collection. There's some real jams in there. Take good care of it. Sorry I wasn't a better dad. To my ex-wife, Marla, I leave you exactly what you left me. Nothing. 
You can die mad about it for all I care. Filiberto Pencrazio. The spicy, spicy meatball. I hope we can find that shop. I'd love to go to the spicy, spicy meatball. Sounds delicious. As long as they don't serve tomatoes. What else have we got up here? This one is being cleaned. Everything all right in here? Ooh. Oh, wow. Whoa. God. Oh, someone had an accident. Sentient AI adapters. Well, well, well. They're mine now. Sentient AI adapters. We've got life in a briefcase. <laughs> Trackers Primer 3 permanently increases ballistic weapon damage by 5%. Chininator says, Oxhorn, you don't like tomatoes? Look, listen, we got into this yesterday. I'm not going to get into it again. We talked tomatoes, pickles, and a variety of other awful things. I would, I don't, I'm not interested in having this conversation all over again. The answer is no. I do not like tomatoes, and I'm not going to apologize. Don't forget pills, medical injector, marker. All right, don't let me forget that I now have contraband. Halfway Nuts says Marshall Blake is voiced by the same actor as Old Longfellow from Far Harbor. Evidently, Bethesda has a lot of actors on retainer. Hey, that's great news, Halfway Nuts. Thank you. And he continues, Marshall Blake. Oh, uh, and then I saw it again. Okay, thank you so much, Halfway Nuts. Don't think Sistef or the Rangers will help you if you get into trouble out here. Door locked requires key. That's probably my room if I were to rent a room. Tell them that on my authority, they're Pardon. required to pay like everyone else. I give them enough money. Please. If they disagree, they can take it up with me first. You'll be talking to the underside of my boot if you keep trying to strike up a conversation. Julian Z says, okay, Ox, let me ask you. Do you like pizza or spaghetti? I like them both. Wow, this guy is a rough looking guy. Just want this day to be over already. Hello, Lon Anderson. Hey, you're the captain of that ship. Is your registration paperwork in order? Who's asking? Who's asking? The starport master of Red Mile is who? Think that'd be obvious, given what I just asked you. I don't need to show you my paperwork. Excuse me? I don't have time for this bullcrap. Truth is, I don't really give a damn. I gotta ask, because it's my job, you know? And don't get me wrong. I used to care about running a tight operation. Had everything going nice and smooth. But when May started building this place up and hired those mercs, everything went straight to hell. I voiced my displeasure, and now I'm on the outs. Oh, poor Lon. What mercenaries are you talking about? The ecliptic mercs, I think. May security. Bunch of wannabe soldier assholes is more like it. Call themselves ecliptic. They think they're some sort of uh, elite paramilitary unit. I'll tell you what they really are. They're nothing but punks with guns that get off on pushing people around. I get the need for having some security out here. We're independent. That ain't lost on me. But these guys are the worst of the worst. More trouble than they're worth, you know? And not by a little. Julian Z says, but their primary ingredient, pizza and spaghetti, is tomato marinara. Yes, and Julian Z, had you been paying attention yesterday when we had this conversation, you'll recall that I said tomato is only suitable in sauce. I'm fine with tomato in a sauce. It's... Eating a tomato or slicing... Why am I having this conversation again, Julian Z? I feel like we talked about this at length yesterday. I'm not doing it again. You guys really are passionate about tomatoes. I'm not nearly as passionate as you guys are, clearly. So, May's the one in charge here. 
Yep, she took over a little while ago. Drove out all the regulars because they didn't fit in with her new vision for the place. Now, I'm not saying they were saints, but at least it was some respect for the people whose blood and sweat makes this place work, you know? You'll find her inside. Whatever you're here for, she's probably the one you want to talk to first. We can say, yeah, I don't really care. I have stuff to do here. Sorry, but I need to get going. Sounds like this place went through a lot of changes. Sure has. May, she's got these big ideas about making this place some kind of must-see attraction for the whole settled systems. You'd think she'd care a little bit more about the quality of the damn starport. Anyway, I'm sure you're already sick of my bitching. If you need parts for that ship, or a top-up on the grab drive fuel, that's me. All right. Well, uh... I mean, everyone's saying that I need to do something with my cargo hold. Let's modify the ship. That's what I'm here for. And I don't know what to do. Let's try going to upgrade ship. Um, weapon, engine, shields, reactor. Okay, I can't upgrade any of... Not saying cargo is an upgrade option. So let's go to shipbuilder. Cargo hold. I need starship design rank one. All right, looks like I can't do anything here. Well, we'll worry about all of that when I actually have the perks that allow me to do something. Let's see what ships you have for sale. Yeah, let me know what you want. There's the Trader Railstar. The Privateer, which actually looks pretty good. I kind of like it. The Econo Hall. Again, looks pretty good. 2,600 cargo capacity. The Transpo 2. The Nimitz. And the Trader, Trader Wagon Train. Wow. You can, you can do anything with this builder system, can't you? See ya. Not Nick Skinner says, have you seen any of the crazy ship builds people have done? I saw a few on Reddit that were wild. One looked like a Mack truck, really? <laughs> I haven't been paying attention. Uh, I'm really eager to get into shipbuilding and uh, settlement building at some point, but right now I'm fi uh, focusing on the primary plot. But don't worry, we will get there. I don't make chit chat with patrons. Gonna try it again? I wouldn't. Okay. And we're done with the Red Mile. That's everything. I really like my ship, but the weapon systems are really slow and sluggish. They pack a punch, don't get me wrong, but I kind of want something a little bit more nimble. Do next. Time to leave this place behind. Orbit stable. Okay, let's go to the wolf system and get rid of our contraband before doing anything else. I don't want to get in trouble. Where's wolf? 
There we go. Did I choose the wrong one? The den. Wolf. Katie Patton says the den is a floating place. Oh, well, that's right. You didn't Wait. put us into a planet, so we must be in the right place. Rachel says, have you looked into the leadership perk? You can build companion oh, infinity one. faster. Where's my textbook? <clears throat> Unknown ship, do you copy? This is a UC Vanguard vessel. Please respond to my hail. <laughs> you actually responded? Uh, wait, where'd my notes go? <clears throat> Thank you for accepting my hail. This is UC Vanguard vessel AH... C-1026, performing standard training exercises. Civilian pilot, do you require assistance from the UC Vanguard at this time? Okay. Ah, uh, this must be a new recruit to the Vanguard. We could say first day on the job? Ah, uh, still in training, actually. Is it that obvious? But since we're in the Vanguard 2, we can say United Colony, we can pass a United Colony's Vanguard captain check to say you're off the hook. I'm a Vanguard 2. Oh, gee, sorry, I called you a civilian. I'm just reading the official jargon. I swear this stuff was written by robots. Good luck out there in the space lanes. Catch you at the <laughs> den sometime. At the space lanes. All right, let's go to the den. What is that? Uh, where is the den? I'm not gonna find it by looking around. I should use the map, huh? Etheria Ruins, that sounds interesting. Okay, so I went to the wrong planet. Let's go to the den. Thank you, Rachel. I'll have to look into the leadership perk. King Onyx says you can literally build anything with the shipbuilding system. I've seen people make the Planet Express ship from Futurama, amongst other crazy things. That's awesome, King Onyx, thank you. Halfway Nuts says, I figured out shipbuilding. Not only do you need the certain skills, also more parts will unlock out of nowhere as you level up. I'm at level 42 and holy crap, the options are insane. Dan acknowledging incoming hail. Docking Bay 1 is free. Thank you, Halfway Nuts. Oh, it's for own level in this place. It's really never recovered. Okay, let's offload Looks our... Looks like this place has seen better days. Illegal cargo. If you're ever in New Atlantis, mind putting in a good word for me? I don't think my messages to SSNN are getting through. If there's anything I can do for you, please. Certainly. Okay, let's go to cell, miscellaneous... And sentient AI adapters, value 1,855. Let's go get rid of those while we're there. Okie doke. Wait, am I carrying anything else? Boom, boom, I just bought an exterminator rip shank. I don't need that. Staggering modified uh, bridger. Is that better than my shattered shock? Damage is the same. 
This has the bashing legendary effect and the staggering legendary effect. This has just the shattering legendary effect, which may be better against armored targets. It's also got increased range and better accuracy. Do I really need the bashing legendary attack uh, effect? And staggering, I mean... No, I don't need staggering. Shat shattering is going to be better. So yeah, I think I'll sell the modified bridger. And I'm kind of disappointed in the Boom Boom, but it is a named weapon, so I'll save it for now. Okay. Back to the ship. Separation complete. Okay. Back to Cheyenne. Now. Okay, on a moon of Cheyenne. Kodos Fortuna. Greg Williams says, Hey Ox, is the Admiral home? Also, I wanted to buy a pair of camouflage pants, but I couldn't find any. Play on, good sir. Thank you, Greg. Yeah, I did an Must Admiral update. Job. We're still in one piece. I did an Admiral update at the beginning of the broadcast. Admiral is home. He is recovering well. He's on lots of medication as is to be expected. Weapons hot. Clear engage. Weapons hot. Clear
no ship repair kits. Bummer. Okay, we've got spaceship debris, but we need to go to Fortuna. Set landing target. I'm trying to. There we go. Landing site locked. Take us in. Wonderful as living worlds are, look out for predators. Wow, I like this one. Extreme solar radiation, oh dear. All right, well, there's the ship. Let's do a hard save. Now, confront Marco. Well, I'm probably going to have some dialogue, so let's take some Hippolyta, or whatever it's called. Hippolyta. Wow! You the runner? Boss is in the back. Marco's done well for himself. One might say too well. I mean, I would say that at least. Yes, you would. Okay, hi everybody. This music is gonna put me to sleep. First cavalry veteran. Holy cow! Better behave while you're in here. <laughs> what is this place? All right. Why don't we have a room like this? Just full of knock your socks off trophies. You know, really flaunt our success. I mean, yeah, I totally would if I could. Ah, the dulcet tones of classical piano. It really puts the soul at ease. <laughs> a man of taste and style, of course he is. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Your organization? You've heard of the first, I take it. I'm not just a member, I also help to fund the outfit through a network of independent traders. Of course, illicit goods are the most lucrative, so... There is a constant need for skilled pilots. Present 99 says you're gonna really like the inside, but use Bang Bang this time. You want me to use it? All right. We could attack and say your days of threatening innocent farmers are over. We could show the badge and say, I'm not here to work for you. I'm here to stop you. Or we can show a badge and say, I've got some questions about the first. Let's try that. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged <laughs> Ranger. This deputy might just surprise you, Marco. A bit and who might you be? The name's Sam Coe. A name well known across the Freestar Collective. It's an honor to welcome a descendant of the great Solomon Coe. Yeah, well, that name probably means more to you than it does to me. Your deputy friend here could have a bright future. Assuming we all keep our heads. Why would the Major want a confrontation? To settle accounts. 
Major Hull served with distinction during the Colony War. But the leaders of the Free Star Collective, they turn on him. In his eyes, the Rangers are enforcers for a corrupt Council of Governors. That makes you his enemy. As for me, I didn't see any profit in nursing that grudge. I prefer to focus on the future. You mentioned the Major. Is that who runs the first? That's right. Major Hull spent 20 years in lockup nursing a grudge against the Free Star Collective. We all did. A lot of good men and women died for nothing because of those cowards you work for. You've chosen your side, and I've chosen mine. Two options. I'm gonna bring down the first, and that means you, Marco. Or I want details on the first's operations, including who hired you. Let's always strive for more information first. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You are on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who will kill you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction, in exchange. I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. We could tack. Enough talk, dead man. We could say no deals, tell me what I want to know, or face the consequences. Or we could say that works for me. Hmm. No option to persuade him. I, I gotta say, the only thing... Oh, Hippolyta just wore off. Well, that was a waste. The only thing that I'm worried about is how Sam is going to respond. The thing is, he's operating by sending his first guys to intimidate farmers and steal from people. And that's not cool. We can't let him keep doing that. Something on your mind? So we'll say no deals. Tell me what I want to know or face the consequences. I have a better idea. Instead... I tell you something you don't want to know, but you should. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other rangers to protect their own interests. Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Free Star Collective? I mean, he's got a point. So far, the governors we've met, the CEO of Hope Tech, Bayou of Neon, they're not good people. We could say no more stalling, Marco. Either talk or get shot. Your choice. I'm not doing this for them. I'm doing it to protect innocent people. Or you're not persuading me to abandon my duty. I'm going to say, I'm not doing this for them. I'm doing it to protect innocent people. Whatever road brought you here, your journey ends today. All right, chat wants me to use Boom Boom. We'll try it out. It's not as good as the shotgun I've got now, but just so that we can, we can say we've done it. It does have the explosive legendary effect, so there's that. Oh, I gotta pick it. Crap. We'll do that later. package tell him Sam sent you never wise to be in my way hard to use a shotgun when you're surrounded by turrets This is my favorite part. Turret's down.
Not while I'm in combat, dang it. This feels like old times. Another enemy down. Never mess with a cold. Thought you could hide, huh? Oh, there it was. Is it really in the in the room we just left? I guess so. Is he not dead? Oh, okay. Oh, it's a camera. Okay, I think that's everything. Uh, Man of Warp says, when Sam Co is my companion, I mistakenly call him Adam Jensen quite a few times. Did you really? All right, encrypted slate and Marco's key card. All you. We've got another encrypted slate. There's the key card. That's gonna... I'm glad we didn't spend time picking those locks. Well, he was a man of taste. Look at all of his wonderful things. Sadly, he can no longer enjoy them. Hey. Let's see, what have we got? Calibrated double A. First officer outfit. Thank you for your deposit to the Coraco Book Fund. And a first officer hat. It's not as good as mine. Uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. Really? I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. Can we do this when we don't have an alarm blaring, Sam? Man, Sam is really chatty. You know, traveling with you has been something else. But the best part is when we're charting course for the next jump. I never feel at home planet side. How about you? Actually, I can't do this right now. I don't give it much thought. Space is the only home I need. They both have their charms, or we can flirt and say, I like anywhere as long as I'm with you. Now that's the right answer there. <laughs> See, the people I don't get are the ones who never go anywhere. They stay in their own hometown, they just live and die there. There is a whole galaxy full of wonder and things you could never imagine. How can they be satisfied with one tiny sliver of it? Rachel says, I feel like your ideal ship is Captain Petrov's to show off all of your junk. I can see you with a throne atop a pile of antique computers. <laughs> That's exactly right, I need Petrov's ship. Chad is saying that that outfit is unique. That I should take it. Okay, I'll grab it. Not everyone gets the opportunity if they only knew what they were missing. We could say people have different priorities. That doesn't make them wrong. I mean, you're right, but I think everyone should at least get out once. Go someplace, meet people. Get out of your comfort zone so you can really see that the worlds are more than just little issues and bickering. There is a mess of ugly out there, but my God... There is grandeur, too. If they don't come, it leaves more of the galaxy for the two of us. I think you're getting a little carried away. New cultures, new experiences can be deeply enriching. However, I never knew you were that poetic. Look at his face, he's like... 
Uh, let's say new cultures, new experiences can be deeply enriching. That helps you understand how this crazy place fits together. I want to be the code that finds something deep out there. Solomon got us here in a big way. I'd like to discover something that moves people. Makes them feel just a bit of what I feel when I jump systems. Not knowing what's next. Wow, we're getting lots of flirt opportunities here. You always surprise me. That's what Constellation is all about. Be real careful what you wish for. Or if we can flirt and say, I could listen to you talk like that for hours, handsome. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> Who flirts like that? that come on. It's, that's like out of a, a cheap dime romance novel. All right, handsome. Then you are a glutton for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> but I do love the way you listen. Yeah, it's funny. As much as Jacob, my dad, cashes in on the family name, He's got no adventure in him. And I get it. It's dangerous, sometimes scary out there. But that's what exploration is. Going off the map and seeing if there truly be dragons. Here's to discovery, Sam. We should get back to it. Jacob has none of that co-family spirit in him then? Not one drop. He's always been about making deals, keeping goods moving. Despite his many, many flaws, I think deep down, he is trying to do good for Akilo City. But if you're going to be name-dropping Solomon all the damn time, you should act a little more like him. Here's to discovery, Sam. I couldn't ask for better company. All right. We racked up a couple of likes in there. Calibrated mag shot. Oh, yeah, I've got one of those. I've got a rare one. Bolst bolsting calibrated SysDev spacesuit. Remote turret control computer. Well, no signal, of course. Okay. Now to loot the rest of this fine facility. Oh, there's going to be a blaring alarm the entire time I loot this place, won't there? Dracula. Oh, dear God. It's just getting worse. Mercury camera. Safe. Every time I see the lock, I wonder, what are you hiding? Advanced Kraken, history of the pirates. Alt Grendel says Jonathan Royer says there's a switch for the alarm in the main room. Uh, is there? All right. Well, now I gotta find it.
Present 99 says there are physical alarm switches to shut it. Thank you, Present 99. I look, there we go. Oh, sweet. Oh my God, that was awful. Now I can loot, loot and lore in peace. Man, the classical piano, the bird song sound effects. Why can't I take this ship? This ship is awesome. Okay, that's actually the main uh, area. Better we get it than someone else. I agree, Samco. Zarteth says, List, just listen for the higher pitched alarms. They come from the switches that turn them on or off. Thank you, Zarteth. You, you sent that before I found it. I'm just so glad I found it. It was driving me crazy. All right, big bathroom for all the crew. Is that a cinder block in there? No, it's tissues. Lift the seats. Crew quarters. Deep seeker helmet. Settler poncho. Butter. Butter in a locker. Who keeps butter in a locker? Rec room. I made a wreck of this room. <laughs> All right, so this leads, oh, I see. It connects to this hallway. All right, well, let's finish exploring over here first. Come on, onion, potato. Carrot. Oh, that is another carrot. Yeah. Midnight delight. Security. Where does this go? Back out into that hallway. Let's check out security. Man, they just let me waltz right through here. Didn't ask me who I was, what I wanted, or anything. I just walked right in. All right, so that loops around over there and connects to this. Perfect. All sorts of fancy stuff on display, and that's that. So much for Marco. Hey, I turned the alarm off. Oh, it's a camera. Thank you for that, Sam. Well, if it weren't for the extreme solar radiation, this would be a beautiful planet to settle on. Michael Seacrest says, Ox, I was AFK. The Dracula. The already finished the pre-flight checklist. That's my girl. 
Dracula sell to the book dealer in Aquila for four times what it's worth. Oh, that's right. I didn't realize. I don't want to go back. Thank you, Michael. I'll keep uh, an eye out for Dracula in the future. Erica says, read the description for the potato. Okay. Potato. Does it say boil it, mash it? Oh my god, you can't! It does! Can be prepared many ways. Boiled, mashed, used in a stew. The recipes are nearly limitless. <laughs> oh, I called it before even. That's amazing. Boil it, mash it, stick it in a stew. Okay, uh, need a quick AFK. I'll be right back. Uh, quick bio break. Hang tight. Two minutes. Two minutes. Have you ever tried Aurora? Uh, uh, well, I, not, not in a long time, sweetheart. Not since you were born. What was it like? Terrible, terrible. It was terrible. You stay away from that stuff, Cora. Trust me, it's the worst.
What's taters, precious? All right, two minutes. Like, what'd I say? It's always two minutes. Donkey says, eat an apple. Actually, it says, eat an appel. But I'm just going to assume for the moment that it means apple. Don't worry, donkey. I shall eat my daily apple at some point. We have liftoff. Looks peaceful from up here, doesn't it? Okay. Give the encrypted slate to Alex Shadid. No. Oh my god. Yes. Snowman says, Hey, Ox, enjoying your Fallout 76 Thunder Mountain video. Saw you were live, just popped in. I wonder why Solomon named this place Aquila. You'd think I know the answer to that, but I don't. Hello to all in chat as well, says Snowman. Thank you so much, Snowman. Glad you're enjoying my Fallout 76 content still. After all these wonderful years. You see any heat leeches? You've got our permission to take care of them. Things are dangerous, apparently. One more encrypted slate. Hey, deputy. Hey, Welcome Helga. Welcome to the rock, I guess. It's really an honor to be able to help out. Might be hard work, but it sure beats living under the boot. These rangers are some hard-blooded folk. They ain't afraid of anything. Helga says I spend too much time at my terminal. He's probably right. Anytime. Hey there, deputy. Way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? It doesn't matter. All I care about is bringing down the first. I'm still not sure it's for me, or it feels good to be out there making a difference. That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? How's your progress on tra uh, cracking the first's encryption? It's going well so far. I think I'm close to a breakthrough. With enough data, I'll be able to tell you everything they're up to. We could hand the slate, uh, the slate over and say, here you go, hotshot. Or, got another encrypted slate for you. Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. Quest complete on the run. Mission updated surgical strike. All right, well, we had two missions that we needed to do. Uh, I guess we're on to the second. Let's go to the ship. You doing all right, Gumdrop? We're home. Don't call me Gumdrop.
Stay in orbit or jump. Your call. All right. So the second quest was we had to find a medical facility to find the person who had a medical emergency, I believe. That's going to take us to the Narian system. And to the clinic on a star station orbiting Dipala. Discovered. Please respect priority docking for emergency patients. The clinic welcomes all. appear so far away from these things and I gotta fly, fly, fly until I get close enough to dock. Wow, this is a huge facility. Green lights on outer hatch. We're docked. The clinic's a bit of a legend in the medical field. Ma'am, I'm just the courier. I understand that. I'm not blaming you directly. We're asking everyone to take Dr. care Salvato, of any leeches on their ships. Here? We don't want any terrible uh, storming through here. Out a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake, and the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. All right. Constellation Guide 4. Healing items are permanently 5% more effective. Nice. Hard times, Red Rover come over. I hate this delivery run. Can't ever get here fast enough. Thanks for delivering critical supplies. Would be nice to hear once in a while. No matter how much we learn, we're only just barely staying ahead of the curve. Welcome to the clinic. I'm Dr. Darvish, Chief of Medicine. Is there something I can do for you? <laughs> we can ask after arriving at the clinic, is this a medical facility? I thought perhaps the name gave it away. Yeah. This is one of the preeminent medical care centers in the Settle Systems. We take our work very seriously. I'm here on business. Are you? Because I don't have any appointments scheduled. We have a particular focus on astrovirology here. So the patients we take on tend to have unusual cases that require long-term care, and sometimes require unorthodox or experimental treatments. We have an excellent track record that speaks for itself, but it doesn't leave room for much else. Whatever business you may be here for, I trust that you will conduct it quickly and do so without interfering with my staff or our operations. Astrovirology. So, you're in charge here? I am, yes. I took over from Dr. Eswaran when he retired nine years ago. 
While the clinic does occasionally take on research projects that have their own chain of command, I am ultimately responsible for the entire facility. Has there ever been an accident? The clinic has occasionally been faced with unique situations that might be considered hazardous in other facilities, but no, nothing that could not be contained and dealt with. What kind of research projects do you work on? I'm afraid that information is confidential and restricted to our corporate partners funding the projects. Well, that's all, thanks. Certainly. You mentioned astrovirology. What's that? There are hundreds, if not thousands, of new worlds that humanity has set foot on. While many don't host some sort of life, there are more than enough that do. Any one of those worlds could be inhabited by all manner of pathogens. Things we've never seen and have no idea how to treat. Someone has to try and stay ahead of what could be a very deadly curve. Here at the clinic, we do our best. I'm glad I'm wearing a helmet, we could say. Sounds like a dangerous job, or I hope you're paid for well for what you do. Let's say I'm glad I'm wearing a helmet. You wouldn't be the first to feel that way. There was a time I was mildly offended by it, but I've grown accustomed to it. If it makes you feel more at ease, be my guest. <laughs> I'd like to help you with your research. Would you now? Well, I suppose we could always use additional research specimens. The more data we have about what's out there in the settled systems, the faster we can diagnose novel illnesses. In theory, at least. I suppose we could consider you an independent contractor of sorts. We've made progress with alien biosuppressants, helping to prevent secondary infections when treating patients, but we could stand to learn more. If you could collect some additional samples, we'd be grateful. All right, collect biosuppressant for Dr. Darvish, zero of three. Where do I find the resources you need? What we're looking for are basic organic substances. They could come from any number of flora or fauna on countless worlds across the settled systems. Just keep your eyes open as you travel and harvest things when you find them. Or frankly, if you can find them at a reasonable price somewhere, purchase them. I'm less concerned with the source than the materials themselves. I wonder if I have any on the ship. Let's see. Cargo. Biosuppressant. Alien genetic material. Is that it? It's a great. Collect biosuppressant for Dr. Darvish. No, that's not it. Okay, well, looks like I don't have biosuppressant. Drive. I literally can't get here any faster. Hey, what can I do for you? Oh, I'm just looking around. All right, that's all set to owned. Yeah. Ship service. Oh, I could have him repair my ship. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. Kiosk right here for you. You were able to land it, so I'm sure whatever is broken can be fixed. Wow, they have the exact same dialogue option wherever I go. It's encouraging to know that every case we cure here likely means dozens or hundreds more can be saved in the future. Deuteronomist says you only had one before for curing addictions. Ah. I think I got them. What do you call them? Corns? Yeah, I got corns. Ever run into wow. spacers? <laughs> Scumbags and scavengers. They're like vultures picking away at the leftovers of the colony. Find them Thank scouring. you, security. Let's go talk to the ranger in the ranger's office. Hey, Ben Armistead. Between you and me, 
This place sees some weird cases. Gross ones, too. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? You know, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Oh, well, what does he say about me? Well, now, that'd be telling, wouldn't it? Ah. It ain't anything bad, if that's what you're wondering. You just keep your mind on the task at hand. We could say good, because I don't want to waste time explaining it to you. Then you know I'm tracking down members of the first. Let's say that. And having some success, by the sound of it. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. How you doing, old man? Well, I'll be a Dust Wrangler's cousin, <laughs> Sam Coe. <laughs> Oh, it's been too damn long. Why, Cora must be, what, nine, ten years old by now? I wish. She's twelve. <sighs> Almost a teenager? Oh, man. My goodness. And here I thought I had enough gray hairs already. So, are you back? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. I'm just out here to watch the deputies back and see what kind of trouble we can get into. I see. Well, back to the matter at hand, then. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? <clears throat> she had some kind of urgent medical issue, so I'm confident she's here. That's what I intend to find out, or she might be. She needed surgery, but I'm not sure why. Well, I think you made the right decision to come here. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. Oh, this is the same medical star station that we read about just that between caused you the and colony me, war. I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. And she's also on the Council of Governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here, and I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hard, or Hardly working. Uh... <laughs> hey, Chief. A little more the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you in Mr. Miller's capable hands. You need anything else, I'll be in my office. Thanks, Ben. And I meant the Narian War, not the Colony War. The Colony War was instigated by the Freestar Collective creating farms on a planet outside their jurisdiction. The Narian War was started by Any the guesses UC. Any guesses being worked on in the secure wing? Any Building this. In asking the guards? Oh, come on. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. You can't tell me you don't want to know. What's causing Dr. the Davis issues? Has it under <sighs> the patient the records database is acting up. Access is a lot slower than normal, and I have no idea why. I'll look into it later. Okay. For now, let's so focus on your investigation. You don't want to hear about my plan to incapacitate the guards and storm the place. God love these background conversations. We could say, I need results, not excuses. Or just do the best you can. Or interesting, the person I'm tracking is a computer expert. Huh. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so uh, I doubt that's related. Yeah, still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? A former soldier named Maya Cruz. She fought bravely in the Colony War. A ruthless mercenary named Maya Cruz. I'm here to make sure she faces justice. Her name is Maya Cruz. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but... Maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? Who 
cares? She's a criminal, and she'll get what she deserves one way or another. Her name isn't enough? Let's see what she says with that. It should be, unless she's using a different one. So, do you know anything else about why she'd be here? No, not really. I only know it required a long hospital stay, and it sounded pretty urgent, or yeah, a little bit. It was a medical emergency that required long-term care. That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal, assuming the database cooperates. Come on. Okay. We get to follow more NPCs. Yay. Just checking in, dear. You doing all right? I'm certainly Okay. Happy. Give me just Thanks a minute here. America. This year has really flown by. First couple of years are the hardest for sure. Getting used to it. Maya Cruz. In and of Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. <laughs> okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for a Maya Cruz. Well, bummer. Just checking in here. You doing all right? It's hundreds of years into the future, but it's the same old story. Monday is right. What was on the spreadsheet? Wow, it's just... There are no names on this spreadsheet. I don't know what he's looking at. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks, Rebecca. Be careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks. If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. And they like Which to use actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. Stop talking around me. Thank you. If that's the best you can do, maybe I'm better off on my own. What if the records were tampered with? I guess it's possible. Maybe I can give you another option. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace... What's her last name? Doolin. Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman. I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. Jane and Candace. Okay. Those are the only two you can remember? Off the top of my head, yeah. That being said, we don't usually have a lot of patients staying here at any one point in time. Most people can't afford it. Well, we can pass a security check to say, if I can find the source of your computer issues, that might lead me to Maya. You're welcome to use the Ranger Station Terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. All right. Talk to Jane. Talk to Candace. Optional. Search for the source of the system disruption. All right. I want to talk to both, but, uh... You had so a chance to talk to Dr. Cassidy. Back in this really fun guy. Let's go here first. Usually they hide a perk magazine in a ranger office. I'm going to see if I can find it. Oh, man, all of this is set to owned. That, I guess, not here. All right, I'm hoping that this won't immediately update the quest, so I'm gonna quick save here because I do want to talk to both of them. <clears throat> All right, recent messages from Rebecca Armistead. Don't forget to put in that vacation request. It's been too long since we had a break. Can't wait until we have some quiet time at the cabin on Montara Luna. I'm going to fish all day and then at night, well, you'll see. <laughs> that's, that's a sex reference. Love you. From Ari Miller, that last courier ship from Aquila brought a slate for you. You're out of your office, so I left it on your desk. All right, let's see if we can find it. From Dr. Titus Cassidy. To all staff, we've had a few recent incidents of personnel entering in the VIP wing without authorization. Please respect the privacy of our VIP guests and do not enter the VIP wing without express authorization no matter what. See me if you have questions. 
from Rebecca Armiston. Did you hear about the bank heist in Aquila City? I just read about it on a news slate. I hope nobody we know was hurt or killed. Sounds like the Shaw Gang was behind it. No surprise there. I'm sure I sure don't miss living on Aquila. I never I'll never take the peace and quiet of the clinic for granted again. Security incident reports. Report 14. Filed by J. Walsh Security Staff, Incident Report Dr. Titus Cassidy. Dr. Cassidy claimed that a patient in the VIP wing became confrontational and threatened violence when he tried to administer a medication. I spoke to the patient, Catalina Rivera, and calmed her down. She agreed to take the medication. Ooh, a violent confrontational patient in the VIP wing. Not named Candace or Jane, however. This is Catalina. Report 13. Filed by Pete Taro, security staff, incident reporter, Rebecca Armistead. Nurse Armistead filed a report that a patient in the VIP was found in an off-limits area. Patient identified as Catalina Rivera was found to be inside a serve shuttle and was asked to return to her room. Patient cooperated and apologized, ex explaining, explaining, explaining she had become lost. Again, Catalina Rivera. Report 12. Filed by Jay Walsh, <coughs> Walsh, incident reporter Candace Doolin, patient, filed the complaint. The patient filed a complaint and insisted on speaking to security about a lack of personalization, I'm sorry, personalized attention, and to inform us that her symptoms were not being taken seriously enough. I informed the patient that uh, was a medical matter and not a security issue. Patient said she was aware of that, but did not feel the medical staff were listening to her concerns and had nowhere left to turn. Spent an hour listening to the patient, which seemed to calm her down. Well, we've got a lead, Catalina. But let's access admin. Please select, select the task. Active processes. Uh, disruptor Mark IV. Unknown. Power allocation. Memory guard. File systems. Network manager. Well, we can query this unknown process. Disruptor Mark IV. Process details. Mark IV. Running. Security risk high. It is recommended that this process be disabled immediately. Location, mainframe, applications, installed by Catalina Rivera, a patient in the VIP section. Really, that's all it took? To just open it and read it? Resource monitor. Initiating resource scan. Processor usage 26. Active memory 12. Available storage 62. No issues found. Maintenance. <clears throat> Checking maintenance record. Last maintenance performed six days ago. Maintenance performed by A. Miller. Initiating system scan. No issues detected. Looks like we can still talk to the other patients, though. I think. Gain entry to the VIP wing. No, we can't. Okay, so since reading that terminal advanced the quest, and I missed out on my opportunity to talk to the other patients, I'm gonna load my quick save and go talk to them first. Because I wanna see what they have to say. <clears throat> my guess is they're both gonna complain about Catalina. Wade Speakerman gifted five Oxhorn memberships no to the community. No but maybe we limit our time here. With all the sick people. Sure, those files are fucked up. Right, will do. And congratulations to Zap Bannigan, James M, Fuse Punch Mink, Jason POS, and Donald Moore. All right, which one are you? Hello, this is my private room. Please leave. This is Jane. Excuse me, what gives you the right to come in here? You're not my attending physician. Get out before I call for security. You seem tense. You hiding something? <laughs> There's a Free Star Ranger stationed here, and if you don't leave, all of them called in <laughs> to deal with you. <laughs> we can show a badge that says this gives me the right, or I'm Deputy Oxhorn with the Free Star Rangers, or we could say I'm very sorry to disturb you. I just need a moment of your time. All right, I mean, she's sick. All right, I'll, I'll be kind. Well... 
I suppose I can give you a minute. We could say you're in serious trouble, Maya. I suggest you cooperate, or I want to know why you're here and I want the truth, or I'm just gathering some information. What brought you to the clinic? Believe me, I hadn't intended to stay here. I'm a courier. I was transporting certain sensitive documents here to the clinic. My ship was intercepted by pirates. I escaped, but not without damage to my life support systems. By the time I reached the clinic, I was barely alive. I was rescued and placed in intensive care. That was two days ago. I mean, you're sitting up in a chair. Really intensive care? We could say, is there someone who can verify that information? Mr. Miller handled the paperwork. You should ask him. We can pass a persuade check and say, I think there's more to your story. Well, the nature of my work requires a certain level of discretion, much as yours does. I've shared all that I'm willing to share with you, Deputy. All right, this is a moderately difficult one with six. Let's say I just need information. Nothing will ever connect back to you. I wish I could, but if anybody found out I told you... <laughs> You're wasting my time. I'm the one you've got to deal with. Like it or not. Well, we're out of options. We'll go, I know you'd like to help me if you could. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Now we're getting somewhere. I haven't agreed to anything yet. I can see that you still have doubts. If you don't believe me, then ask Mr. Miller at the desk. He can verify who I am and how I came to be here. Rough. All right, well, we talked to her. There's Mr. Miller at the desk. Let's talk to her. Oh. They say I'm ahead of schedule on my recovery. Uh -huh. I say they ought to make better schedules. Candace Doolin. Come on, pick one. Why, hello. Are you here to keep me company? I, I do hope so. I can't get any of these doctors or nurses to slow down and, and just check for a while. They all claim they're too busy. Don't you think their work is more important? Taking care of patients isn't just about running tests and doing surgeries. The clinic's a lonely place when you've got nobody to talk to, after all. How terribly inconsiderate of them. It certainly is. Why, I might as well be back home with my husband. <laughs> He's just as bad, always too busy to talk. That man couldn't sit still and listen if his life depended on it. You'd think he could be bothered to pay me a visit once in a while, given I've been here as long as I have. <laughs> He's on but vacation. no. All I get is the occasional letter apologizing because he's too busy to run the farm all by himself. Well, I mean, so hire to... some help, I tell him. And then all he wants to do is complain about how my medical bills ate up all our money. Ugh. Should we maybe, you know, <laughs> move things along here, ma'am? <laughs> Poor Sam. Uh, could we change the subject for a moment, please? Oh, I'm sorry. Is it terribly boring for you to hear about how I'm ignored and neglected on a daily basis, hmm? You know, and that's just the problem with people these days. <laughs> Everyone's got their head buried in a slate. Can't be bothered to talk to a real person. Keep going. I swear, I'd get more companionship from a robot. You might like that, especially if the robot is named Styx. All right, all right. Enough about the husband. Now listen to you. Oh, I'm oh Sam dislikes you. You're no better than he is. Always telling me that I complain too much. Next thing you know, mm -hmm, you'll be telling me there's nothing wrong with me and I ought to leave, mm. like all these doctors keep saying. I have got no end of pains, headaches, sore knees, sore back digestive problems, and, and, and all manner of other ailments. 
I keep telling them I must have caught some kind of alien virus. <laughs> but these fool doctors can't figure it out. I'd had test after test for three months straight, and I'm damn near broke from the cost of staying here. So, you didn't need emergency surgery? Well, no, I, I suppose not. At least not yet. But don't be surprised if I do. Once they figure out this alien parasite or virus or, or whatever it is that's gotten into me. You've been here for three months? Pretty sure I have. But you lose track of time real easy in here. All I've got is these white walls to stare at and nobody to talk to. Makes the days feel, oh, just about endless. Then go home to your farm and occupy yourself there. We can pass a medicine check to say you're not my suspect, you're a hypochondriac. Well, ain't you smart using them big words. <laughs> if that's supposed to make me feel better, I got news for you, it don't. I thought the high and mighty free star rangers were supposed to help others in need. Yes, me. I think that sterling reputation's getting a little tarnished lately. Mm -hmm. Well, go on then. Don't let the troubles of one poor citizen distract you from whatever higher calling you all answer to these days. Oh, God. Okay. That was just exhausting. Oh, mind your step. Okay, sorry, clinical staff. All right, let's double check with him. Always happy to help the Free Star Rangers. Hey, how'd it go? Do you have any luck? Um, I have some follow-up questions about those patients. Okay, shoot. Mrs. Dolan, uh, Dolan says she's been here for three months and never had a surgery. Is that true? Yep. She practically lives here. I gotta think the money's gonna run out sometime soon, though. It's kind of sad, really. She clearly wants attention and someone to talk to. Just between us, I get the feeling that things with her husband aren't great. Yeah. Well, uh, was Jane Na Na Nakamori rescued from her ship a couple of days ago? The courier? Yeah, that's right. It was real touch and go there for a while. She was lucky to pull through. That's all I need. I made some progress digging through the patient records and I have one more lead for you. Her name's Catalina Rivera. There she it is. was rushed into surgery for some kind of emergency procedure. I probably shouldn't say this, but she was in real bad shape. The good news is, she seems to fit your suspect's profile. The bad news is that she's a guest in our VIP wing. That area is restricted to authorized clinic personnel. Even I can't go in there. What can you tell me about the VIP wing? Think of it as high-end care, with bigger rooms, better food, and more amenities. Cost a fortune, of course. The VIP wing also provides privacy, and that's why only a select few staff members are allowed in. I'm going, and if anyone tries to stop me, they'll regret it. I thought the Rangers could go anywhere in Freestar Space, or I'll figure something out. Let's see that one. Yeah, well, I don't think the doctors here care all that much about where the Rangers are supposed to go. Dr. Cassidy's in charge of the VIP wing. You need his permission to enter. Unfortunately, he's a real stickler for the rules, and the rules say no visitors without prior arrangement. You didn't hear this from me, but I happen to know that he keeps a spare access card somewhere in his office. Hope that helps you. All right. Well, we actually lost affinity with Sam Co by being rude to the poor hypochondriac, so we're gonna reload our quick save. We got all the information we needed to. We already discovered that it was Catalina Rivers who's our suspect. So let's just go through these terminal entries really quickly. And there we go. Now, we could get a key card. <clears throat> we could try to talk to Ken, uh, to what's his name? There's the VIP wing. Let's go to the staff If you're area. thinking about going into medicine, just be really sure before you commit to it. 
Really? Yes. Someone's someone's got regrets. <laughs> ah, Doctor Darvish took a chance on me, hiring me fresh out of training. Need to make sure she doesn't regret it. Ozian Salvata. There's such a mountain of work. I could really use a hand, but I don't want to inconvenience anyone. Who puts a hospital in space? It's really a matter of safety, believe it or not. The types of things we work with here. Let's just say you wouldn't want them spreading on a populated planet. In here, we're all nice and isolated, just in case. Not the most comforting thought, but it's the truth. What's your role here? Tending physician. I'm new here, so really what I do is watch Dr. Darvish's every move and try to imitate it. Sounds a lot less impressive when I say it out loud. Well, I'd like to help out if I can. Oh, well, that's appreciated. There really isn't anything you're qualified to do in here. No offense, of course. But, hmm. I do have some data requests from other facilities in the Settled Systems. Everyone always wants to know what we're up to. Usual courier has been less than reliable lately. So if you could get this slate where it needs to go, that would help us. And put a few credits in your pocket. Okay, deliver this late to Dr. Charlie Flynn in Sidonia. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. <clears throat> Let's see what this slate says. Clinic data slate. The slate contains a multitude of charts and medical data, along with some completely indecipherable handwritten notes. <laughs> nice touch. All right. Just one week without something weird, that's not too much to ask. See if we can sweet talk this guy. Cassidy. If you need assistance, please see Ari Miller at the desk. I want to talk to you. Yes. What do you want? You're the one in charge of the VIP wing? Yes, that's right. I'm afraid we don't take walk-ins. If you want a room in our VIP wing, you'll need to make arrangements in advance. I could really use your help. I need to talk to someone in the VIP wing. Or it's a good bet you've got a fugitive hiding in your VIP wing. I need access. Or I need to get into the VIP wing. Don't ask why, it's confidential. Let's try number two. Let's be honest with him, see if that opens him up a bit. Even if that were true, which I doubt, access to that area is strictly limited. Who exactly are you? Fishkey says, finished up Freestar last night. Happy to be here. Thank you, Fishkey. So glad you're here. We could show the badge. See this? That's who I am. Now open the door, pencil neck. Or we could show the badge and say, I require your cooperation with an investigation. Or we could show the badge and say, Deputy Ox, or at your service. I really need your help. Now let's try being polite. You could be Solomon Coe himself, and my answer would be the same. No. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. There's no progress that bureaucracy can't ruin. You're really going to cling to policy when there might be lives at stake? Do you need your hearing check, deputy? We have a machine for that just down the hall. Oh, I don't like this guy. Well, we could pass a medicine check or a persuade check. Let's try the persuade check so we can get points for it for our challenge. Actually, we maxed out Persuade, so we don't need to. All right, let's try the medicine check. I give you my word as a fellow medical professional that I'll be very discreet. Oh, I wasn't aware. I suppose if I can't trust a colleague, then I can't trust anyone. This will get you in. Conduct your investigation quickly and without disruption. All right. I do hope you won't make me regret this. <clears throat> don't worry, I probably won't murder anyone. Probably. And we got what we wanted. Yay for the medicine skill. Don't know why I'm doing this. I can't take anything anyway. It's all set to owned. Let's go to his office just to see where the key would have been. I believe it was somewhere over here. Whoa, storage is big.
But this stuff isn't set to own. Oh, that is. It's just random. Sometimes we find, not like the tweezers. These are not set to own, and yet this is. It's like they forget some stuff. Ooh, a heat leech. Die, heat leech. Please tell me that was target practice. I know what you are, heat leech. Credits and a radioactive gauge. Gauge. Gauge gauge. Gaudgy gauge. Warning. This unit is not suited for addressing mental health concerns. Medical need robot to make model sure those A. Samples get disposed of. Let me talk to the medical robot. I am not permitted to perform medical practices without human oversight. How does she expect me to get all this done by myself? Look at that, a cred stick, and it's not set to own. All right. So I guess you never do know. I'm sure there's someone else that can help you. Titus, we already had a conversation. I have performed a cursory scan of your vital signs. You are currently alive. <laughs> You are currently alive. Hello. <laughs> Got it. Warning. This unit does not possess oh, advanced man. surgical capabilities. Set to own. Door. Novice lock. Hmm. Also. Set to own, which means if I pick that, <clears throat> I mean, that's his office. That's where I'm gonna find the key. I'll quick save. I am hidden. Dong Ho Choi says, took me a while to get ahead of you. Lol, I can finally watch the stream. I don't know how you guys do it. I, I am playing this game every day for hours at a time. Whoops, hold on. Was I hidden? I am hidden. I feel like I'm playing this game as much as a human can. <laughs> uh, how you guys get ahead of me, I don't know. All right, this also is for the top. Find something good. Hi, security camera. Don't mind me. I'm supposed to be here. Where's the key card? Where is the key card? In the safe, I guess. Well, maybe this isn't his office, or maybe he carries it on his person. Hidden. Bottom. Bottom. Okay, if that goes there. Oh, no. That almost does it all. All right, let's focus on the top then. Use that one. Let me use that one. Nope.
Well, I wanted to find it just so I could show everybody where it was, but, uh, yeah, I'm not finding it. Maybe uh, his office is somewhere else. Gontro Dim says, Plenty have already made it to NG plus, Grandpa Gamer. Hey! Hey! Gontro Dim! I'm, I'm taking... I'm, I'm playing the, the best I can here. I feel like I'm doing really well. I'm playing on hard. Okay. Oh, Dr. Cassidy. There's... Digipick. Tablet. Where's the key card? Oh, it's gonna be safe. There's another digipick. It's a novice. Grandpa gamer, my butt. VIP wing key card. There it is. But we don't need it. Tree plus tree equals tree. Never have I been more inspired. No, never a dull moment. Key card is hiding behind a novice lock. Good to know. We explored the break room. I think we did. Okay, to the VIP wing. I know your type. The freewheeling space ace. Must be nice. That's me, freewheeling. Please dispose of contaminated items in the biohazard containers. Let's do a quick save. The clinic's a bit of a legend in the medical field. It was hacked! Oh no, is everyone in here dead? Oh no! Oh. Hey, Varun Scripture 5 permanently increases sneak bonus by an additional 1% and melee sneak attack damage by an additional 5%. All right. Well, how did no one else in the hospital know that this has been going on here? She hacked into security so that she can get out. Break room. Bathroom. Ooh, cool laser, Sam. VIP dock. All right, that's what she tried to get out to the last time she attempted her escape. Ah! Oh, it took me a while to process. <laughs> they were hiding. Oh man, mines. So she's gone. 
She murdered a, a doctor and got out of Dodge. Modified terminal. Command override mode. Override mode active. Uh, access mainframe in install disruptor. Run disruptor. Executing operation successful. All other admin functions suspended. We can disable the program. Patient terminal. Terminal access logs. C. <coughs> Rivera guest. <coughs> Serve status dispatched. Clinic emergency rescue vehicle. Vehicle ready. Initiate startup sequence. Set navigation, Sakharov. Destination set. Execute automated pre-flight procedures. Executing pre-flight procedures complete. So she went to the Sakharov system. T. Cassidy, upload patient vitals. Records updated. Treatment continues, but issues persist. Prognosis is not optimistic. Patient seems unusually anxious since receiving a recent courier slate. Possibly some bad news from back home. All right, but that didn't update the quest. We just learned it was the Sakharov system, but that didn't update the quest at all. Quest marker wants us to go back here. Uh-oh. Do we have a glitch? Well, we just learned she's in the Sakharov system. Okay, I guess we forgot VIP amenities. We are here to serve you. As a VIP guest, <clears throat> you'll enjoy the very best hospitality we have to offer. Spacious private chambers, fine cuisine, and the highest quality of personalized service awaits you here at the clinic. Your satisfaction is our highest priority, and you can rest assured that we'll work hard to make your stay a comfortable and pleasant one. Here, your, private, your privacy is our priority. You're in the clinic's exclusive VIP wing. You'll enjoy the highest level of privacy and security that we offer. Access is limited to a select group of professional and courteous clinic staff who are here to serve you. No information, including your presence here, will be shared with anyone beyond your attending physician and support staff. In addition, your medical records will be kept in our most secure database with the maximum level of protection from outside intrusion. A stress-free recovery. Here at the clinic, the brightest minds in medicine and the most sophisticated technology and research combine to ensure that you receive the best care anywhere. The promise of a stress-free recovery is our commitment to you, our valued guest. Whatever you're here for, there simply is no better place to be. That did not update it. Oh! Urgent! Read immediately! This must be the slate that the courier brought. Maya, the rangers are on to us. They're going to find you, and when they do, an alias won't protect you. The best bet is to hunker down somewhere safe. Your hideout in the old asteroid mine at Sakharov should be ideal. Maybe steal one of the clinic's emergency ships if you need a quick escape. I know you don't have much time. The operation's almost over. Thanks for helping see it through, and if I don't get the chance to tell you in person, person, I am eternally grateful for your brave service and loyalty to the unit. It has been an honor. There we go. Right. Well, they gotta clean up their dead. Probably fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Aren't you the one I saw running away from that crazy guy? <laughs> Man, New Atlantis gets crazier Hello. by the day. <laughs> the adoring fan! Running this facility is a challenge, even when there isn't an outbreak of some sort. So wait, we can't tell them what we learned? We just have to leave? 
Can I tell him what I had learned? Yeah, you know, I remember when I was a deputy, just starting out. Long time ago, that was. How long have you been a Freestar Ranger? Well, let's see now. I joined up in 2292, so that'd be... 38 years now? Damn. Hard to believe, now that I think about it. Almost 40 years. There ain't been many Rangers who served that long, I can promise you that. <clears throat> How many other Rangers have served as long as you? Well, offhand, I can only think of two. Cassie Hickson made it to 42 years before she caught a bullet from one of them Shaw gang boys. He got himself all liquored up at Aggie's. That's over in Aquila City. Started using the passers-by for target practice. Oh my god. Then there was old Rusty Ortega. <laughs> Had a good run of 52 years and retired to a farm on Montara Luna. Passed away just a few years back. I suppose I don't think much about it, but when I stop to count the years, well, they sure do add up. Right. <clears throat> Zartu says, Ox, you missed a book in the main part break room on the desk by the couch. Oh. All right, I'll check it out. Demi Narch says, Hi, Ox. I remember you sang a song for Fallout 76 and Fallout 4. I should be Fallout able to 4. get you squared away. Are you gonna make a theme song for Starfield 2? Maybe. I, I did a song for the Wastelanders update of Fallout 76. I don't remember making a song for Fallout 4. I did a number of songs for Fallout New Vegas. Did I do one for Fallout 4? Okay, uh, break room, break room, staff area. That's gonna be in here. So a book in the main part break room on a desk by the couch. Break room. Well, I'm not seeing it, my friend. <laughs> oh, here's another one. There we go. Book. Mind your step. It just says book. Okay, book. Chapter one. A, B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, X, Y, and Z. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Whoops. Uh, is this a glitch? <laughs> Did they forget to populate this book with data? Great book, says Bar two, or Zartu. Great book. I'm adding that to my collection. I hope they don't patch it. That's gonna be a collector's item. I hope they don't patch it. Years from now, everyone, everyone will say, do you remember back in the early days of Starfield when you could loot the book and it just had the alphabet inside? Well, can we tell this guy what we learned? Hope I can be useful to you. I'll keep working on these patient record issues. What do you know about patient named Catalina Rivera? Catalina Rivera. I know the name, just just give me a second to think. I remember she was rushed into surgery right after arriving, seemed to be in pretty bad shape. She must have some serious credits because she was moved to the VIP wing after the procedure. We can show the VIP wing key card. I've got it covered. I really don't want to know how you got that, but yeah, that'll that'll do the trick. I hope you find your suspect, deputy. All right, I guess we can't update anyone about... I really about hope someone comes to take a look at me soon. ...about the murder that happened here in their spa... Right. ...in their clinic. Can't ever clinic. get here fast enough. You never know when we'll find something we can loot. Like this, cred sticks not set to own. I'll take that. And more. It 
seems so random and arbitrary. Okay. Time to tell Cora we're back. Where are we going? To the Sarkarov system. Excavation site CL-25. Ooh, what an interesting location. Bonner. see Barrett try it out on him so cute it's just so cute we have a clean dock right on the money x 28 V says kick her off the ship box I'm tempted T kids do not belong on a ship Especially kids that tell awful dad jokes. Right. Bonner survey data added. Okay. An abandoned Stroud Eckland facility. Mining area. Something almost saw me. Or something is hearing me. Okay, this is just gonna lead to another dock. Yep. Clinic med response. That's the ship that she came in on, so she's still here. Beast Hunter's deep mining spacesuit. Secure access.
Come on! Ski? I love skiing. You should see Cora. She's a terror on the slopes. Is now really the time, Sam? We're infiltrating this place and you're talking to me about your daughter skiing? Okay. She's had plenty of time to prepare. I'm glad we did this one last. This is a, a much more in-depth one. Master lock, oh man. Drum beat, shoddy. Take the shotgun shells at least. Oh, do I have to? I mean, maybe there's lore inside. Okay, well, I've got some auto slots saved up. Let's use one. Okay, that leaves one option. Let's uh, see if we can figure it out. Okay, hold on. Any, yeah, this is for the top only. Nice. So now we look, we know what we're looking for for the other side. If we are to use this, but we might not be. No, well, it's got to be that or that. So it's either that or that. But we don't see anything that has that same sh Oh, wait, that. So it's got to be that. Whoops. Whoops. Right, they overlap. So it's not that. So if we do that, we'd have to do... Man, none of those are good. Okay, let's try... That. Oh, I see. And then that. Okay, that's easy. And then... Urban Eagle, <clears throat> Assassin's Calibrated. But this is already silenced. I think. Yeah, I think it's silenced. Okay. We could go up. Chemical showers. I wonder what the crystal is. Uh, that's fried. Crystal? You wonder what the crystal is? What crystal? Oh. Yeah, I wonder too. Okay, we could go down. Let's go up first. Wait, right, let's see what's over here. Storage room.
Kiefer, not getting a lot of this, not a lot out of this. Uh. Oh, there's a potato in there. Can I get the potato out? Oh. Ooh, animal claw marks on the ground. That's not a good sign. Med pack, hey. And a hookah. Simpler times, we read that. Urban efficiency attire and an Argos extractor jumpsuit. Okay. Let's see what's around the corner. It's a barracks. All right, so this is all a dead end. We got to go down. Brown Neo City Formwear. Minor jacketed jumpsuit. Lots of costumes here. Lots of outfits. Sort of Damocles. And that's it. All right, we gotta go down. Let's find out what these crystals are. Hello. Almost missed that. Talk with Sam again? I had three conversations with Sam in the you last broadcast. I've I got two conversations with Sam in this one. Just wow. All right, Sam. Choose your moment. I guess it's you chose to be now. Out well, lives get stuffy sometimes. I don't got many friends, so I figure I got to level with you. My past keeps showing up. I should get ahead of it before I get behind it. <sighs> Hell, this is tougher than I thought it was going to be. Now's not a good time. Maybe later. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of this. No matter what happens, Sam, I'm in your corner. Or just ch take the leap and start talking. Let's say I'm in your corner, Sam. That... That means a lot. You know, when I turned 18... My dad used one of his many connections to get me my first real job. That, plus the magical co-family name, meant I was shipping freight out of Aquila. If there is a way to take the wonder out of space, it was working for that outfit. Every milligram of helium-3 accounted for, timetables down to the second, too busy to ever really appreciate anything. Or even look up. For our first job, you could do a lot worse. That sounds truly terrible. Or we could say, all the charm of accounting wrapped up in bureaucracy. Joy. <laughs> yeah, that's about the size of it. So, an opportunity comes by from the boss man. He says, run this job, don't ask questions, and there's a bonus. Hell, I was still just a kid. I jumped on it. I knew I wasn't shipping some dried mangoes, but suddenly, God help me, it was fun. All right, hold on a second. Zartet says, missed my super chat, but the magic of the timing is gone. Sorry, Zartet. Uh, yeah, I, I sometimes miss them. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, 
Okay, his super chat was, eh, I'm an old character. And you can tell how old I am by how often I mention that I'm an old character. Eh, so old. Eh. I believe that was probably written when I was talking with the older ranger. And he was saying all of those, uh, talking about how long he had worked for <laughs> I guess the, we're having a good old-fashioned staring contest. For the free star. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm, I ruined your magic, Zarteth. My bad. What was fun about it? Up until then, I tried my best to be the dutiful son. I hated it. But man, I tried. This... This was a rush. It's a thrill. Lying through my teeth to customs, even that shady delivery guy, it felt like I was finally, truly living. We could say, oh, this will not end well, or I could see the appeal. And you're a hell of a lot smarter than I was. So, uh, more jobs started coming. And everywhere I went, suddenly dangerous people were much better armed. I'd hear about armed conflicts and civilian casualties. Innocent casualties. And I'd pretend that wasn't me. Maybe I wasn't smuggling weapons, maybe I was carrying something else. As long as I never open the boxes, I can keep pretending. What you did was reprehensible! I'm shocked! You know you didn't kill those people. Or go on with your story, Sam. Go on, Sam. Soon the boss man's relying on me, and the pay was nice. We also started partying a lot together. Hard. There are whole weeks that are blank. Never had a lick of trouble. <sighs> Till I did. Were you that good at it? <laughs> at the time, I thought I was the bee's knees. But looking back, a lot of it was dumb luck. I swear my damn name got me out of trouble most of the time. Oh, you're a cold like Solomon? They just waved me through. Didn't you know you were walking a very dangerous path? I had booze enough and drugs enough to never really have to look too hard in the mirror. I knew if I did, I wouldn't like what I saw or where it was going. You can't keep playing with fire without getting burned, or sounds like your boss took advantage of you. Yeah, but it takes two to tango. To this day, I don't know what I was running that last job, but it was tasty enough a whole mess of Crimson Fleet jumped me at the rendezvous. Now, a sane man would have been scared, but I looked at my pissant trading skiffs dual cannons and shouted, Oh, this is on! <laughs> I blew up one of the pirates before they realized that I was out of my gourd. I managed to get them down to two left before every system I had was fried. I was done. And that should have been the end. But that's when the rangers showed up. With those odds, why did you even try? It just felt right. Like this. This is what I was meant to be. And I was young, no care in the world. I thought, <laughs> what, there's only seven of you? I like those odds. He took out five by himself? In a courier skiff, okay. We could say, you are crazy. Literally crazy. I could absolutely see you doing that, or you must have been incredibly relieved. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I could absolutely see you doing that. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't flinch from living life on the edge a little. Anyway, and then, dependable and straight as an arrow, Lillian Hart came on the calm, and well, it's like hearing the voice of an angel. The rangers took them out, no problem. Oh, that's fuzzy, though. See, I passed out. And when I came to, Lillian was there. Seems the rangers were <laughs> impressed with me. Offered me a job. Yeah, by all rights, it should have been a prison cell, but... Lillian... She saw something in me, and I took the job, and that's it. All my cards are on the table. And Lillian knew that you were a smuggler? Officially, my cargo was destroyed by the fleet. Unofficially, hell yes, she knew. 
She jettisoned it herself. I don't know why she did it, but she stuck her neck out for me. And after she helped me sober up and put the mess I was back together. So that's it? Nothing more? Look, I'm guilty as hell of smuggling who knows what. And there are people I dealt with. Bad people. That would recognize me. But I swear, I did more questionable stuff for the Rangers, under orders, mind you, than I ever did as a smuggler. Really? Now that is interesting. If you haven't done anything you're ashamed of once or twice, you haven't really lived. That was some real stupid stuff you did. Or you aren't that kid anymore. You're probably a better person for it. Well, after I hit bottom, <laughs> I learned a lot. Fast. But the thing that scares me is Cora. I mean, I gotta tell her someday. Sometimes the way she looks at me, I'm not worthy of that. But to see that look gone... I mean, most kids idolize their parents when they're young, and then as they grow up, they realize their parents are just flawed people. And that's the way it's gonna be with Cora as well. Doesn't mean that she can't continue to idolize him now, or that he needs to feel guilty for that. Okay, we could say that's a toughie. Or she thinks the world of you, it'll be fine. Or when she's older and the time is right, you have to tell her. Or we can flirt and say, just know I'm here for you, Sam, with all my heart. Always. That means a great deal to me. Just so you know, all this, this is why Lillian is something else. And I really need to own that. And have a tough talk with Lillian. Tell her about that follow through you mentioned. Cora's at an important age right now. Every visit counts. You can't flake on her. Well, for now, let's do something more cheery. <laughs> yeah, Like bye. getting a root canal. Okay, thank you, Sam. Maybe we can convince Lillian to take Cora, you know, so we don't have a kid on the ship. That'd be nice. Okay. Run away! <laughs> Sorry, oh, Sam. Hurts. I mean, you should have been quicker. <laughs> Sam, are you okay? <laughs> All right, let's see. What is this crystal? Can go to waste. Well, well, what have we found? Some nasty alien creature. A shard hopper. Oh, there's a robot in here. I don't like the sound of it. We have four hostiles. I have completed my search pattern. Warning. My sensors are picking up suspicious. I hope the robots are the friendly Vasco kind instead of running battle programming. I mean, we just killed it. Sam, it wasn't friendly. Huh. Maybe these crystals have something to do with why she's sick. 
Oh, I see. We could have snuck down here and gotten around behind it. I know there are more of you. I don't know why, but I think this would be a hell of a place for a seance. Knock once if you hear us spirits. <laughs> no? Sam, Sam, come calm down. These crystals are ringing. All right, there's something else out there, but I but I don't think it's close. Could take the elevator down or the stairways down. Let's uh, let's send this down. No, we can't send it down. Let's take the stairs down and then that way we see if there's any loot we would have missed otherwise. Helmet display, refined deep mining space helmet, not interesting. Adhesive, finally. I need as much adhesive as I can get. Bad people, bad jokes three. I think we've read all of the jokes now. Advanced star roamer spacesuit. It's worse than what I have. Advanced shock troop spacesuit. It's worse than what I have. I heard a terminal. There we go. Remote security door computer. Locked with a novice lock. Okay, that should be easy. Or not. Yeah. <laughs> Status closed. Let's open it. Opening door done. That's going to be a door down below. Hopefully we didn't just release a big monster. I love this little laser rifle. I mean, I love the Lawgiver as well. The ballistic rifles, the Laredo weapons are fun. But this little, uh, oh, hello, we got a robot in there. Don't want him popping out to say good day. All right, there's the elevator at the bottom of the shaft.
quick way back up if we need to. Hope you don't mind, I'll let you skim that one. Okay. That's not all the critters, though. Hear it. It's so dark down here. I hear something crawling around. Watch, as soon as I stand up, it's gonna pop out. All right, we got a pod right there. Okay, they're hiding underground. Really? That one didn't want to be mined. Bit of a drop. Let's see what's in this building first. Dark Angel says, Hey Oxhorn, how are you enjoying the game so far? Are you planning to go all the way to NG plus 10 to unlock all the rewards and level 10 powers for it? I don't know anything about NG plus. I don't know anything about those powers, so I haven't given it any thought. Uh, my instinct, however, is not to play a game all the way through more than once. Like, if they're going to lock perks and armor or whatever behind multiple repetitions of the same thing, I tend just to not engage with that kind of gameplay. Okay, refined deep seeker pack... Azimat suit, navigator space suit, tracker's alliance space helmet. It's better, but it's not legendary, and it's not better by much, so not worth it. Okay, that's it for this. So, looks like we gotta go down. That's a long drop down. What a cool location, though. Cutter. All right, before we go through there, let's go down and see what's at the bottom of this pit. We 
we're gonna find an artifact? I hear something. Robot model A. Well, they don't need it. Just a cobalt deposit. Again, that last one just can't do anything about it. Okay, well that looks like it. It's it for this lower level. So let's take the crystal back up. Expert locked storage. Ah, God. Okay, that could work for it. We put that, no, let's see. Okay, if we use that there, and we use that there, then good. Bingo. And then, Harvested organs. Well, remind me not to uh, miss the wolf system. Boosted refined rattler. Okay. close. Sam, you okay? Yeah, he's okay. Jeez. We should bring Cora back here sometime. Tell ghost stories. I think she's still into that. That was a little boss. Life in all its messy, gooey splendor. Okay, this looks like a dead end, though. So we gotta go the other way. Yeah. Hello. Oh, yes! It's my first scene! I haven't seen very many of these. The 
Is it uh, like a Russian roulette or something? Well, well. Okay. Spin the bottle, you goof. Yeah, but one was holding a knife. You don't hold a knife with spin the bottle. I guess you don't hold a knife with a Russian roulette either. Okay, we've got an elevator going down. But I'm gonna take the staircase so I don't miss out on any loot. That is a crystal with a capital C. Cow! That was a lot of robots. It almost feels like I'm cheating using this gun. It's so good. Take the good stuff. Leave the rest. <laughs> the mining turrets at me. There's gonna be two more. Oh, and this is broken. So I can't call it back down. Robot control computer. Update friend foe settings. Recalibrate friend foe settings. Activate units. All right. Because I do not experience boredom, I excel in the performance of menial tasks. Julian Z says, well, Ox, if you feel that way, there's always very hard. I don't feel that way. I mean, this is the perfect hardness for me. I just, I found the perfect weapon. It's a great weapon is what it is. That's all I'm saying. I love the weapon.
Okay, so that's a secure door. We've got that connecting to that over there. We'll check that out in a minute as soon as we finish clearing this whole thing. Ooh. Lots of goodies. Oh, okay. Fewer goodies than I thought. I think we've done a full circle, all the way back. Right, well, let's go up the staircase in the middle of the room. I'm curious about that emergency door down there. We'll explore it later, but clearly we need to cut that open. Who's gonna use the shoddy? That's right, it's me! I use the shoddy. And now I'm encumbered. Okay, well, she'll sit there, right? I can loot first and do lore. Remote turret control computer. No signal. Yeah, just stay right there, lady. I'll be there in a second. She's gonna have a few dying words and then she'll collapse. Okay, I guess that's it for this room. Well, what are you waiting for? Finish it. She stands right back up. The first must have a base. Where is it? Yeah. We've got a base, a good one, too. Spend months of my life getting that place up and running. As for where it is, <laughs> you're going to have to figure that out on your own. Why is the first seizing farmland? Because uh, that's what we were hired to do. The pay was good, too. But the best part was getting to stick it to the people who turned their backs on us. <clears throat> so, this is about revenge? Of course it is! We spent 20 years behind bars because our leaders got scared and called off our attack just when we had the battle won. And did the people of the Free Star Collective that we fought and died for come to our defense? No! They did nothing. Nothing! 
<laughs> Yikes. Look. Well, now they can die. Just like most of our unit did. The people of the Collective just wanted peace, and that's what your politicians negotiated. A peace. That doesn't mean that your lives were wasted. I mean, they were kind of wasted, but... Anyway, who hired the first, and why? <laughs> I can't wait until you find out. Back to the business at hand. Fine. I ain't feeling conversational anyway. You seem pretty eager to die. Of course I ain't. What kind of fool would be eager to die? I'm just not stupid enough to deny what's inevitable. I wish I were. <sighs> How about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. <sighs> Larry Nunez says, What are your thoughts on Starfield so far? It's definitely the cleanest, fewer bugs, Bethesda game at launch. Anything you would improve and slash or add? Uh, well, there's a whole lot there. It's, it's definitely a solid game. They clearly put a lot of effort into making sure that it was feature rich and complete on day one and that it had as few bugs as possible. Is it bugless? No, no, it's not bugless. It is a Bethesda game. Are there little annoyances? Sure, like when Barrett walks right in front of me while I'm trying to stealth shoot an enemy and he takes a bullet in the shoulder or something like that. You know, little things. Um, but overall, you know, I've got very little to complain about. I'm thoroughly enjoying my time playing this game. You want to hurry it up? Um, I'm, I really enjoyed the UC quest line. The free star quest line is, it's okay so far. Not quite as good, not quite as intriguing, I guess. The constellation quest line is, again, it's okay. Um, the story doesn't resonate with me in quite the same way as the Fallout 4 story resonated with me. But, uh, I, like I said, I'm still playing it, so I haven't gotten to the end yet. How has life kicked you around? I've been abused or abandoned by everyone I ever got close to. Gave up on people and put my faith in machines instead. Wasn't until I came to the First Cavalry and met Major Hull that I felt I could trust someone again. I'm not leaving until I get some information about the First. Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. Right, we just let her leave, just live. She did try to kill us, but she is on her deathbed here. I'm just, I'm not going to murder a person just sitting there. All right, and then that's the way out, huh? All right, that's remote turret control, and there are no other terminals here. You know they have cargo holds for all that. Sam, you can shut up. Actually, you can carry some of my crap. Hey, good to see you. I might have what you need. Let's switch to spacesuit. Yeah, I'm carrying three spacesuits, that's why. Take it easy. Orthopedics says she burned down a nurse and farmers. I gunned her down. That's true. They, she did murder a nurse to get on out. Are we walking away without her seeing justice? What would Sam do? Is Sam going to get pissed off if I murder her? Quick save.
Nope. Hey, lead-lined navigator space helmet. Hey. A modified auto rivet. I've never used an auto rivet before. Oh, Sam didn't dislike it. Uh, anti-ballistic, lead-lined. It's just bad. Look at those stats. Everything about it is bad. Modified auto rivet. Rivet. I've never seen one of these before. Laser sight shielded tool grip. Ammo rivet. <laughs> this must be a really rare ammunition type. I've only collected 300 rounds of rivets for uh, so far. All right, am I encumbered again? I am. You need something? I wouldn't say no to a gift. Okay, let's give him the helmet I got. Still encumbered. Let's give him some of the weapons, the auto rivet. Yeah, he can have boom boom. Everything else is rocks and uh, aid and stuff. Whitney5 says, can you mute the daddy cowboy? He's contaminating my Deus Ex memories. <laughs> Next time. I can't mute the daddy cowboy. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Come on, Sam. Let's go, daddy cowboy. Sometimes things just go your way. Right. And there we are. Out we go. I guess not out there. Oh, did I miss a button? I did. There it is. Okay, I gotta store some gear. Resources, store all. Let's go to aid and store everything that I don't need. Got a lot of emergency kits. Uh, a lot of med packs. But the wait list, so I'll just keep them. A lot of trauma packs. Zipper bandages? That's a lot of amps. Do you Hi, think Solomon Co. would have liked me? Sure. <laughs> Everybody likes you, don't they? Do you think he would have liked you? Well, if you listen to your grandpa, Solomon Co. would have given me a good whooping. 
All right. The Bonner system. Did we scan this? Yeah, it's surveyed. Because it's a gas giant. Back to Cheyenne. Yes, I'm trying to. I'm trying to land here. But I think he would have liked the man I grew into. That says contraband, you're right! Jump complete. Normal propulsion. Ah, 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 let's jump. Let's jump quickly. Gotta jump to the wolf system. Get to wolf! As fast as we can! You've entered Freestar Collective Space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. <laughs> oh, I'm out Round of there. Drive spinning down. Systems green. Do we have any bounties? I don't think so. Do we have any bounties? Yes, we got a freaking bounty. It's only a few minutes. I've got an autosave here. Let's load that. <laughs> I forgot about the contraband. Katie says you can move points to the grav to jump faster. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Okay, go to inventory. Let's store all our miscellaneous. No, not miscellaneous. Our resources again. We'll go back to aid and try to store all of this again. We live on a starship, Cora. Pets and starships. Don't always mix so well. And to the wolf system. Aw, come on, please. I need somebody to talk to while I'm on the ship by my. Ah. Self? <laughs> Give him an inch. We'll see, Gumdrop.
This is the you second have time. So much, sweetie. Five credits. Or uh five zero zero credits. This is the second time we've gotten this random encounter. And the last time we paid five credits and we got a big glass. Let's try the 500 credits now. Yummy lemonade, here you go. Ooh, I got so much money. I'm going to buy my own ship. Bless you. I, oh, just to be clear, that's not lemonade. No lemons, sugar, heck, anything on board. I hope you like orange juice. How did he send it to me? How did he give me the orange juice? Maybe the credits I can understand because we like a, a, did a digital transfer, but a box of orange juice? How did he send it to me? We could say, I can't believe you're doing this. You try saying no to her after she makes poppy dog eyes at you. I know, I've tried. Well, I have to go. Say goodbye, honey. Bye bye. Come back and bring more money. Kid. <laughs> I just gave you 500 bucks. Welcome to the den. If you have business, feel free to land. Come back with more money, she says. I gave you 500 bucks for orange juice. How many times am I going to see that one random encounter? Nice clean dock, Captain. How does we're on level in this place? It's really never recovered. Yes, Sam, you said that last time. It's a little surprising, isn't it? Out How may the, the trick edge You won't find a better us. offer on. Okay, let's go to sell. We go to miscellaneous, and we've got harvested organs. Go ahead and sell that. Let's go to buy. I'm ser I'm curious if he's got rivets for sale. No. Where do you find rivets? It must be a really rare well, ammunition. Just so quiet. Ammunition. We're free and clear for flight. Okay. I sold my harvested organs and my sentient AI software. <laughs> Let's head to Cheyenne. And finish this up. Hitomi says, well, you can sometimes find rivets at specialist gun stores, but I usually found them in the neon mining shop. I see. All right. Thank you, Hitomi. Got a freighter coming soon. No time to talk. Having a good one? I'm always having a good one. Hi, Helga. Well, hey there. Diego Monroe, at your service. I got it. I specialize in cryptography. A lot of smugglers use coded slates, so it comes in handy. Talk, talk. Hey there, deputy. How goes the hunt for the first? 
<clears throat> ah, slowly. Hey, sometimes doing things right means taking the necessary time, you know? If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then BOOM! Down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted slates? Because, let me tell you, I am so close. Paladin Dance's girlfriend says, Is it possible to get a pet on your ship? Get one, Ox! I don't know. Is it possible? I'd love some pets on my ship. An Ashta in the grass? Yeah. You know, big nasty four-legged thing with razor-sharp teeth, fast, quiet, deadly. Maybe you'd never heard of them. I mean, it's only the most dangerous predator in basically the universe, so why should you have? Clearly you've never heard of a Terramorph. Of course. Don't say you doubted me now. Who, me? Doubt you? Not a chance, deputy. I knew you were a natural the moment I laid eyes on you. Okay, surgical strike done. Uh, now I believe we go check in with Captain... I'm proud to be helping the Freestar Rangers. Like, or whatever his name is. Come in, deputy. Take a seat. All right, let's do a hard save here. You're not going to yell at me for selling harvested organs, are you? Grab a chair. While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. Unfortunately, some didn't survive. Oh no! Is there anything we could have done? Not really, no. We can't be everywhere at once. Right now, our best hope to stop them is you. That's terrible! It's worse. It's tragic. How's your investigation proceeding? Um, it's going well. Once Alex cracks their encryption, we could learn a lot. That's assuming he finds something useful. Otherwise, you'll be no better off than when you started. Come on, Emma. You know as well as I do how tough this job is. That's exactly my point. When it comes to deciding who earns a Ranger's badge, I will not compromise. <laughs> Let's move on. I asked the other rangers to share their opinions of you, and there are some things I want to go over. Oh. We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. Okay. She was grateful for your timely arrival, and impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. Nia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. <clears throat> Causing friction with the council doesn't help anyone. I didn't like him much, but I did what I had to do. I respect Ron Hope and what he's accomplished. Let's try causing friction with the council doesn't help anyone. Exactly. Dealing with the council can be tough, but it comes with a badge. No need to make it harder than it already is. Let's continue. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent visit to Neon. He said you took on a syndicate loan shark to help an informant. I just traded a favor for a favor. I couldn't pass up the chance to take out a member of the syndicate. Uh, syndicate. syndicate. The informant was innocent. I had to help. And you were right to do so. Helping people is our most important duty, even when you're conducting an investigation. You got results, and that's what matters most. Price was impressed by that. Said you really took the initiative. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. <laughs> she said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. That I did. It was the best option I had at the time. It wasn't that bad. Our people out there are suffering. I couldn't let them down. Sounds like you're starting to understand what it means to be a Freestar <laughs> Ranger. So what happened with Marco? I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. I took great pleasure in ending his life. It came to violence. You can guess how it ended, or I tried to persuade him, but he wouldn't come quietly. I suppose underestimating you was his last mistake. Damn. 
I thought if anyone could see reason, it'd be Marco. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. Let's just say she got what she deserved. She was pretty much dead already. Or she didn't have much time left, so she wanted to end things on her terms. Uh, uh, are we an executioner? Did we do the right thing? I don't know. Um, let's try number one. I guess I'd want the same thing if I were in her place. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. What do you know about this mech factory? Never saw it myself, but I know it's a large facility mostly underground. If the first are occupying it, They'll probably have set up defensive positions throughout the complex. If the first is there, I'll make sure none of them survive, or I'll go and check it out. The facility was on Arcturus too. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. Be careful, Deputy. Careful is my middle name. So is Danger. I'm Oxhorn Danger Careful Oxhorn. So Go get him, Deputy. Wait, I can fast travel to my ship, right? Board's green. Ready for what comes next. Let's see what the stars have in store for us this time. Gondro Din says, Have you hard saved lately, Oxford? Yeah. I did hard save. Apogee kick complete. Orbit steady. Alright, here we go. Arcturus. Navigational feedback checks out. We're in the right place. Be a quick, clean kill. 
any more. Wow. Their shield system is damaged. Ships. Okay, time to loot the first Pterosaur. The first Thresher. So these are the first vessels that were protecting the factory and we just tore out their entire fleet. The first Pterosaur again. The first Wendigo 2. Is that everything looted or is there one more? I think there's one more, yeah. The first Pterosaur 2. All right, fleet destroyed. Let's take a look at this planet. Arcturus 2. We've got an industrial outpost, spaceship debris, an abandoned robotics facility, and the Freestar Mech Factory. Schalk Engelbrecht says the P is silent. Really? I always thought it was pterodactyl. Landing initiated. Watch your flaring. Right, I'm gonna do a hard save and a quick bio break. I will be right back.
All right. That wasn't so bad, was it? Not the Starborn. Let's go see what it is. Overkill there, Sam. Back here. Can't catch them all. Okay, there's the ship. Taking all bets, is it hostile or friendly? It's hostile. Ability. Even if I almost died. Okay, does that mean I can take the ship now? The ecliptic bayonet. Should have gone up. All right. What is that? Defend the ship. Target acquired. You won't take this ship. If 
Varun heretic, heretic writings. All right, don't let me forget that I've got contraband. Bit of a hair trigger there. <laughs> Take over the ship or leave the oh, ship. Not my day. I mean, it's a cool looking ship. It's probably not near as good as mine. But it's a cool looking ship. Do I take it? Quark degenerate tissues? Okay, we'll take it. All right. Well, uh, we still have a quest to do, so. I missed one, I guess. You got a beat on anything? Lots of fauna. Hunting land shark. What is that? It's a level 30 creature. And I thought today was gonna be dull. Not too bad. Said with love. Make a hell of a team. We are getting to know all the creatures of this planet, aren't we? Jeez, how far away were we from the quest dest destination? Free Star Mech Factory, where are we headed? Talk to Saburo Okan. There's the Kepler. What? Why, why did we land so far away? Talk to Saburo Okadigbo? What is that? Right, uh... Fast travel to quest is Kimosabi. Okay. It's 
really far. I can't fast travel to it. Art Pixel says your ship is too big to land closer. It's so far away, I can't even get close to it. Like, it's really far away. There's the ecliptic bayonet. I haven't discovered it yet, so I can't fast travel to it. Well, now I, I understand the drawbacks of a large ship. Art Pixel says, take the bayonet and land close. Now that's a good idea. There's the Kepler. Can I not fast travel to the, to the bayonet? still so far away. You didn't claim it, says the chat. How did I not claim it? I got in the cockpit. Is that not claiming it? All right. Well... We've got some growing pains. This is the first ship I've ever taken. So I'm learning. Talk with Sam Coe again. He is just a chatty Kathy today. You have to leave the system to claim it, says Clell Biggs, really? I'll do that. Yeah, I can't go straight to the cockpit. My chat seems conflicted. Some are saying I just have to fly off the planet and land. Some are saying I have to leave the system. I have I've got silly your name on it, boss. It's a cool looking ship. Alright, I think that's claimed it. We'll try that. Alright, let's try this again. We want to land at the Freestar Mac Factory.
Touching down. There we go. Wow. My Kepler was too big for the landing pad, so it put me like way on the other side of the planet. There we go. Can I go straight to the cockpit? I can. That means it's my ship. Well, I mean, I like it, but I don't like it more than the one I already had, so I'll have to switch back at the next spaceport. Freestar Mech Factory. I mean, the mechs were terrible weapons of mass destruction, but uh, I'm a little sad that they're outlawed. No, I feel ya. I'm a little sad they're outlawed too. Mechs are cool. This is Paxton Hall, commanding officer of the first. Marshal Blake must be getting desperate sending a lone deputy out here. Took one. But I'll give credit where it's due. You're a hell of a pilot. If you came here seeking justice, it's waiting for you inside. Paxton Hall. Am I gonna have to fight a mech? Oh, please give me a mech to fight with. Wouldn't that be the, the most epic way to end this if I get to pilot a mech? Okay, I'm probably getting my hopes up. All right, Paxton Blake. Time you and I had a chat. Wires key. Well, let's keep our eyes open for the key. Hard save. I've got no use for lies. So when I tell you that you're being manipulated, you know I'm telling the truth. You think the Council of Governors really cares about anything but themselves? They're greedy and corrupt. You're a tool in the hands of the unworthy, just like I once was. I was loyal. I followed orders, and I led good men and women to their deaths. I'll carry the stain of that dishonor to my grave. Yeah, maybe, but overthrowing a government isn't the way. Stealing farms from people isn't the way. I don't understand in stories like this where you've got these guys 
who are villains, and they might have good arguments about the cruelty and evil and corruption of mankind and governments and all of that, but then their methods are murder Better innocents, make your peace. steal from civilians, and overthrow freedom. It's like, can you just not take it to a 10? Can we work with a 5 for a bit? talk about things, protest, all of that, instead of going straight to ten. Grizzly. I've uh, got some stuff on my mind when you have the time. Oh, that's right, I forgot. All right. Over here, S Sam. Come on. Come on, Sam, let's talk. I know you want to. I feel like I've been talking to you all broadcast. I, I'd, uh, I'd appreciate your advice. After our last talk, I... Well, I just feel a little more... At peace, a little more whole. Cora's grandpa, good old Jacob, well, he just will not stop pestering me to see Cora. And that's complicated. We could talk about this later. For now, I'm busy, or Jacob's a real ass. <clears throat> Cora's got a lot of people that care for her, or you don't talk much about your father. Let's try that. He is not my favorite topic of conversation. My early years, they uh, weren't good. My mother died when I was seven. Some people have such strong memories from their early life. Me, I mean, I remember her. I have some pictures. I remember the feelings, but just a few clear memories. What happened to her? She banged up her knee real good in an accident. So she went in for knee replacement. It's supposed to be routine, but that damn anesthesiologist dropped the ball. Oh my and God. And one day mom's fine. When the next doctors take her away. Oh, wow. What a way to go. What do you remember? She had these truly ancient cameras, like caveman type things. To the room with a red light, she developed pictures she took in this chemical bath. I remember sitting on a stool, looking up at them slowly fading in, and it was like alchemy to me then. And that's all I have, just glimpses like that. Died because she needed knee surgery, that's awful. I'm sorry to hear about your mom. Oh, yeah. it's all right. It's ancient history. So, Jacob raised me on his own, and... Shit, maybe I don't give him enough credit. I mean, I know how tough it is, but he was strict, hard. Dad was a longtime civil servant, a big man in government, and he had a future all laid out for me. Man, could he get his hooks into you. He was scary good at that. What exactly did your dad do? At his height, he was some sort of trade minister. A very prominent man in Aquila City. And after I came along, he stepped down to a lower posting. We still had a finger in trade all over the collective. I can't deny it. He sacrificed a lot to be closer to mom and me. Well, and let me guess, that future wasn't for you? You know me too well, but I tried. I felt the weight of legacy. I wanted to do him proud. He said I had to learn the business, run some freight, see how credits flow, speak the language. Meanwhile, he's working some angle for a government job for me after. That sounded even more miserable than what I was doing. This is so weird. Like, he's sitting there telling me about how his mom died. And I find a dialogue option here to flirt with him. It's just not the right time. <laughs> you don't flirt with the person when he sits you down to talk about the earliest memories of his mom and how he had a troubled upbringing, and you're like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We need to make up for some lost time. Sam, you and me, you're so handsome, Sam. <laughs> this is creepy as heck. Do you ever tell him you didn't want it? Oh, I started to. Many, many times. He'd always steer the conversation away and just use logic to dissect every little point 
Once I held my ground, and he said I was an ungrateful child, not worthy of what he was doing. Damn. Technicolor Tube says, tell Sam how sexy he is when he's sad. I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we found something like this. Like, <laughs> mm, you're so hot when you're crying. Just, mm. <laughs> it would be awful. All right, we can flirt. We can flirt and say, I wish we'd met a long time ago. We have to seriously make up for lost time. Imagining you around back then. Let's just say you would have been uh, distracting. <laughs> but I had a point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're on. <laughs> if I could remember it. Yeah, you're dead Even after mom, I was right. with the Rangers, Dad was just always kneeling, angling for me to join the government. But by then I knew myself more, and I could stand up to him. And Lillian, well, she helped. If I let Jacob into Cora's life, he'll dream up some big future for her and tie her into knots like he did with me. A man could teach a master class of manipulation. Hmm. Have you seen any evidence of that? Well, no. But he hasn't had much opportunity. And he's a sly one. I'm not sure I'd be able to spot anything. Hmm. Is your father really that much of a problem? I mean, I can't prove it. But I'm pretty sure that freight company was silently partnered with good old dad. Hmm. And the smuggling? I wouldn't put it past him to be involved. Very involved. He always did a good job of keeping that side of the business hidden from everyone. Especially me. <clears throat> well, we've got some uh, interesting choices here. We could say Jacob's bad news. I think you're right to keep Cora away from him. It should be up to Cora, otherwise you're making choices for her. If he doesn't, if he does anything like that, I'm sure you'd shut it down real fast. Or Jacob might surprise you. He seems to really love Cora. Um, Cora's wishes should definitely be taken into consideration, but she is a child and he knows his father and grandfather better than she does. And so he ultimately needs to make the choices that are best for her. Um, but it's also quite possible, especially if Jacob hasn't given any signs that he's trying to manipulate Cora, that he might have learned his lesson with Sam. I'd like to think you're lost looking into my baby blues. Well, yes, there is that, Sam. Th those baby blues, love them. But right now, I'm try this is a, 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 a dilemma. I think I want to choose, if he does anything like that, I'm sure you'd shut it down fast, because he is in his daughter's life. He knows his family, and he can intervene if it gets out of hand. Well, like you said, I've taken a lot of hard knocks, learned a thing or two. Yeah, I might be able to make sure Jacob stays a good, doting granddad. Or else. Or else. I guess I got more to think about. All right, I think we did right there, but where were we? That's right, we were killing bad guys. Hold on, do I have a status effect? I do. Oh, I got a status effect. I didn't realize that. Um, bandages. There we go. Back to it, Sam. No more distractions, please. We're hunting wabbits. Sam, is that you? Oh, I can loot those. All right. Grab everything useful.
Right, we got two paths. Uh, and they both lead to this room. Cow, simpler times, Dover Beach. Tomato. tomato. Oh, why did I loot that tomato? I don't want a tomato. Getting all squishy in my pocket. The launcher? None, middle. Middle. Okay, we've got middle sorted. All, middle again. All, all. Okay, well at least these are for the top two. Put that one there. That one there. Middle is almost sorted. Oh, shoot. That was wrong. Should have been that and... No, that and... No, this one isn't going to work. Oh, yeah, no, that. No, it's not. It's not going to work. So if we if we use that, we, we could use this there. We'd have to use this here. Nope, that won't work either. We could use... Oh! You make that look too damn easy. Do I, though? Because that's really annoying. Incoming! Skip shot modified refined old earth shotgun. Hey. Time to tango. Yes, please. Fire rate eight. Fire rate sixty. <laughs> uh, doesn't even do as much damage, but it's got exterminator, rapid, and slip shot. Every fourth shot fires two projectiles at once. I'll play with it for a bit. Found you. Move, move. Really get your blood pumping, huh?
How did I not die there? Where are ya? Right in front of my face. All right, so my new legendary shotgun is really cool. It's really powerful, but it's really slow. Really slow compared to this, and I like this, so I'm gonna keep with it. Well, I made a mess. Let's see if we can find the dead if we want to loot them. I'm getting all the ammo here. Okay, and this brings me back here. Wait, I haven't been here. Okay. That goes around there, and this comes back here, and this is the room that I was at. Where I looted all that. Okay. So I made that loop. Let's go around here real quick. Uh, oh, man. Master Lock! Oh, oh, why? Okay. Top one should be easy, right? It's only got three slots. And only one actually works with it. No, two. Only two work with it. So this and this. None of the others work with it, so... That's a no-brainer. Well, actually, this does work with it, but it's the exact same as that. And same with that. It's the exact as that. So, we go boom. We know that has to be used there. Now, this could be used there. And then if we've got...
That there. No, we can't use that because then we're going to have one flailing over there. Oh, unless we do that. In which case, no, but those are too close. There we go. Bingo. What's left? Okay. Fox must. Brutal. Suppressed calibrated pacifier. Fire rate of 20, that's definitely better than 8, but it doesn't even do as much damage as what I've got now. Hate you. Okay, let's go around here. Spiced worms, oh. And I think this goes back to the top to complete the loop. Yeah. So if that completes that loop, let's see what goes over here. <clears throat> hey, at least I'm doing my weightlifting. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm encumbered. All right, well, I'm gonna keep walking around to work on my weightlifting challenge. What's this? Remote robot control computer. Hello, what is this? Let's update friend foe setting. Let's recalibrate friend foe setting and we'll activate units. Look what I found, hey. It would be advisable to vacate this area. I wish I had found that sooner. I didn't walk on it. I'm not walking on it. Extreme heat lava pool. Right, that goes back up to this loop over here and I believe I looted the bodies here, I did. So now we're left with the ground floor. I'm not touching it, why am I taking damage from the extreme heat? I am not touching it. I guess I don't have to touch it. If I, if I get too close, I start to take damage. Okay, that's enough there. Let's see what's down here. Okay, and that's the way I need to go. I think that's it. Gravity's a bitch. Don't let anyone tell you different. Quick save. Assembly. The 
First Cavalry was the greatest fighting force the Freestar Collective has ever seen. At the Battle of Nera, the First Cavalry was destroyed. Why? Because the generals got scared and asked for a truce. I've got no sympathy for cowards, or for the people who put them in power. I've also got no sympathy for those who do their bidding. And this means you. <clears throat> this is new. Rhapsody on a windy night. I don't believe we've read that. The following is a passage from T.S. Eliot's Rhapsody on a Windy Night, one of the poet's earlier almost cynical works. The lamp hummed. Regard the moon, la luna ne garde, aucune rancune, rancune. She winks a feeble eye, she smiles into corners, she smooths the hair of the grass. The moon has lost her memory, a washed out smallpox cracks her face, her hand twists a paper rose that smells of dust and old cologne. She is alone, with all the old nocturnal smells that cross and cross across her brain. That cross and cross across her brain, that's nice. Hey, T.S. Eliot, I like what you do. Message to, sh to staff shutting down. <clears throat> Samuel Collins, supervisor. I'm sure by now you've heard rumors about the terms of the armistice. I have it on good authority that they're true. Mechs are going to be outlawed with all units retired and no new construction. Our work here is done, and it's time for each of us to start thinking about what's next. There will be more details soon about compensation and other benefits. For now, I just want to say that it's been a real pleasure working with you all. I'm damn proud of what we accomplished here. Those UC piglets thought they'd roll right over us, but our mechs gave them more than they could handle. That's all thanks to you. with love. To the victor goes the spoils. I said that right, right? Yeah, yeah, you did say Me and my friend here are gonna teach you manners. Hey, finally, a tombstone. Grenade! But it's space adept. Okay, that led to the wrecked mech, and that's the tunnel we took around the corner. We've got a passageway over here, and it goes around. Let's try this. Supplies! What? Care package! Go! T 
Time to tango. This feels like old times. No one's gonna believe me if I tell them you can do that. <laughs> Okay, we've got a master locked room here. Storage. All right. First one is only three. Okay. But so many can be used for it. So we'll auto slot the first one. That means we got to use that one. Let's auto slot this one because I just don't want to spend the time. That means we need this one. Let's auto slot this one. Don't want to spend the time, which means we need this one. And I can probably figure the rest out. If we did that there. Got blood in my eyes. All right, Sam. Xeno Warfare Tech. We have like, got even more contraband now. Afraid your time's coming up. Stop. Got another one. Got a spacesuit out of that. Oh man, this is just elaborate. Looting the dead ain't glamorous, but it sure is profitable. Wanna mess with me and my friend? Ah! This is my favorite part.
Right, we got two more on the map somewhere. Let's loot. A drilling rig. Oh, that's a manufactured item. Oh my god. So many dead. Before we do the ground, let's make sure that we've done all of these catwalks. That ends there. There's a mech. And we built that. Take that, you see. Okay. What we got? Calibrated pacifier. Hello. Not sure what that connects to. Maybe a super secret chunks branch. Let's go with super secret chunks. Oh man. It's just a normal little passage. No secret chunks. Did I get everything down here? This is just so much. Oh, there's this. What is this? A Xenogrub. A back passage. This is the one I came from, though, isn't it? Yeah, I think this is where I came from. No, oh, no, it's not. It leads to the ground over here. Okay. Well, let's loot everything over here. All right, and I started How do you to loot even this before to I got sidetracked. Well, I can't carry all of that, Sam. So I need you to get up here and help me, Sam. You know, the way you handle things, if you're looking for something in particular, I might have a spare. Okay, let's go to inventory. Am I carrying any extra weapons? Yeah, anti-personnel mag pulse. That's a new weapon. Fire rate of 17, though, with a physical damage of 82. Not that interesting. I'll give him the shotgun I got. Uh, that uh, <clears throat> tombstone is great, but the ammunition is pretty rare. We'll give him these spacesuits. That should put me under for now. Bye. Bye. And we came across this catwalk, didn't we? Holy cow. Oh, Someone there. Huge. Did I miss that guy? I did. Well, it's really cool seeing the factory where the mechs were made. These mech bays are huge. I just got a bashing old earth hunting rifle. Oh, and another one of these. Update friend foe, recalibrate, activate unit. Again, I find them too late, hello. Ah, 
Aha. Okay. Spotted you. Another path over here. I found it. What do you mean you spotted it? I found it. Find drum beat. Got to get the ammunition. If I walk away without all this ammo, I'll regret it. Okay, and that's the corner we could have come across, but then we found that. All right, we've gone all the way back. I think, ladies and gents, we, we looted this section. That was huge. Look at this, just enormous section. Holy. What's next? Kind of sad it wasn't a chunks branch. Let's uh, do a hard save here, just in case. You come here seeking justice? Well, what about justice for my soldiers? Minutes away, minutes from winning the battle and the war when the ceasefire order came down. Now there's a debt of honor. And the people who betrayed us, the people of the Free Star Collective, are going to pay. Anything to ex uh, excuse your terrorism, I guess. Attention first, the time has come. Soldiers of the First, I just got word that the Freestar Rangers finally caught on to the operation. We have to assume that sooner or later they'll find us here. Starting now, we'll keep a regular combat patrol in orbit, with on-deck pilots ready to fly at a moment's notice at the first sign of anything jumping in. You've probably heard stories about the noble Freestar Rangers and all the good they do. Just remember that they're still puppets of a corrupt and spineless government that turned its back on us, and they aren't coming here to talk. I know you'll be ready to do what's necessary when the time comes. Operations! I think this is the third interior cell we've zoned into <clears throat> during this particular battle. <clears throat> Each of these is huge. All right, storage. At least it's not locked with an expert lock this time. Or a master lock. How many master locks have we had to pick in this, this dungeon alone? No, I didn't want that. All right, start at the top, all, all, top two, all, all, middle, top two. Okay, let's try these. That would work. That would work. So if we did that one, we would have to use something that we don't have. So we'll use this one and use that one. Okay, for the middle, we've got a lot of options here. That is one of them. But if we did that, we'd have to go there. And that covers it. Leaving us with this. And you did it. And it's not even rare or anything. A suppressed calibrated regulator. Not worth the time. Okay. That's it for storage. Defeat the first mercenaries. Defeat Paxton Hall. Can I do the shoddy thing again? Can I just run in with the shoddy and use my superpower? I did a quick save, so we'll try it. Attention first, hallowed ground. 
Soldiers of the First, 20 years ago I came to this factory and saw firsthand the pride and dedication with which the men and women working here created the greatest weapons of war ever crafted, the mech. When the corrupt and cowardly leaders of the Freestar Collective capitulated to the demands of the United Colonies and agreed to stop production of the mechs, they cut out the heart and soul of our fighting forces. Our mechs were more than machines, they were our comrades in arms. I want each and every one of you to know that you're standing on hollowed ground. Miracles were made here, and we'll treat this facility with the proper respect. If I see anyone defacing or destroying even a single inch of this holy forge of war, there will be consequences. Great. Great, I'm not gonna be able to run into a big mob. Enemy sighted! Bring it on! Chip away, chip away. That was the big boss. And he's still, he's not dead. I gotta finish. I thought I saw one over there, no? Got it. Oh, looting is gonna be a bear now. I get to, I get, I get the luxury of looting this entire huge place now. Well, Paxton, you're dead. So much. And I'm encumbered. Paradiso complex, we've read that. Bay. I'm guessing that's the way we go. Yeah, it requires a key. Which we'll get after we talk with Paxton. Oh, I gotta wait for my oxygen. You can stand to drop a few pounds, and I don't mean a diet. <laughs> oh, I thought I got them all. Did I not get them all? Oh, 
Wow. Wow. Where did she come from? I was just here. Talk to Paxton. I think I looted some things I don't really want. Uh, a refined Equinox. I don't want that. Let's drop it. Okay. Still encumbered. Daniel Roberts with a super tip. Thank you so much, Daniel. Okay, Paxton, almost ready. Free Star Captain's Log 5 permanently increases carry capacity by five kilograms. Yay, did that remove my encumbrance? Yes, it did. <laughs> I'm no longer encumbered. Thank you, Perk Magazine, hooray. All right, buddy, what you gotta say for yourself? I, I can't believe it. You just took on some of the best mercenaries in the Freestar Collective and cut right through them. <clears throat> if we'd have had more like you in the war, we could have planted our flag in New Atlantis. Still reliving the glory days? Your pathetic hull. The war ended a long time ago. I didn't want to hurt anyone, but I had to defend myself. We'll go with the war ended a long time a time ago. Not the way it should have. Of course, I can't expect you to understand what we sacrificed, what we lost. You don't know what it's like to look around and see the faces of warriors who trusted you to lead them as they die screaming. I watched brave men and women torn limb from limb by monsters. I saw mech pilots cooked alive in their cockpits as their machines burned. <clears throat> Those deaths didn't have to be meaningless, but spineless leaders gave up on us even when victory was within our grasp. I've heard stories about the Battle of Nera. I can't imagine what it was like to see the horrors you've seen. You pity me? Is that it? <laughs> You haven't earned the right to pity me. Daniel Roberts says, Hey, Ox, have you discovered the power called Personal Atmosphere? It regenerates your O2. I only have two powers so far. Um, I, I look forward to discovering more. You think hurting innocent people will avenge your fallen soldiers? Innocent? <clears throat> Nobody is innocent while they allow corrupt leaders to take control. The Free Star Collective has lost its way. The dream that we fought for died a long time ago. <laughs> Who hired the first to seize farmland and why? You really want to know? Because you might not like the answer. Last chance, deputy. You can walk away right now and remain blissfully ignorant, thinking you fight for a noble cause. But if you still want the truth, <laughs> I'll shatter that illusion for you right now. Well, let me guess, Ron Hope? How do I know you'll be telling the truth? Because I can prove it, you'll see. I can handle whatever you have to say. <laughs> we'll see about that. Not long after I started the first, I was contacted by a man who said he represented someone wealthy and influential. I'm calling it right now, it's Ron Hope. I refused to work for a shadow client, so we agreed to set up a meeting. 
Imagine my surprise when Ron Hope showed up. He offered me a lucrative contract to take possession of certain farms throughout Freestar Space. Ron Hope? But he's on the Council of Governors. There's no chance he'd be capable of such a thing. So, all right, and I'm sure he's going to explain it, but he just sat there telling us about how the Free Star Collective lost their way and the Council of Governors is corrupt and they're awful and the, the first is so much more nobler because they're standing for what the Free Star was supposed to be, but he's working with the Council of Governors? Where then lies his no nobility? How does the Stolen Hope Tech ship tie into all of this? To keep the Rangers off the sun. <laughs> Hope wanted to hit a lot of places quickly and finish whatever he was doing before word spread. We needed another ship to meet his timetable, so he gave us the intel necessary to steal one from his factory. It also let him play the victim and keep suspicion to a minimum. I mean, the first thing I said when I met him was that there was something suspicious about him. Like, the, literally the first... He didn't do a good job of keeping it secret. What was special about those farms? <clears throat> All I know is that after we cleared the place out, Hope was sending in some kind of machinery. Our job was to make sure nobody saw the operation. Two options. You saw a chance to get revenge on the Freestar Collective, or and you accepted the contract. Let's do revenge. The credits were good, but yeah, getting some payback was the real reward. Was it worth it, Hull? Do you really think you accomplished anything? You think I've lost? Is that it? I haven't lost. <laughs> You go find Ron Hope, and tell him what I've told you. Then you can deal out whatever justice you see fit. You do your job, and I get one last piece of vengeance against the Council. Damn. I don't want to do this guy's dirty work, but... We can't let Hope get away with it, can we? I mean, we go where the evidence leads. If the evidence leads to Ron Hope being corrupt, we arrest Ron Hope. I'm bringing you in. Don't bother. He should face justice, but I'm not sure he's gonna come quietly. I'm gonna make this easy for you, deputy. I'm gonna die the way I lived. Weapon in hand, no compromise, no fear. But first, here, take this. Use it to cut out the weakness rotting at the heart of the Freestar Collective. When the next war comes, <laughs> and it will come, the Collective needs to be strong. Now my unit's waiting for me, and I'm gonna report for duty one last time. Goodbye, Deputy. Wow, damn, okay. I, I, I gotta kill him twice. That. Elevator exit key. Waste not, need not. Calibrated Bridger. First mercenary outfit, Paxson's officer hat. Quest updated. The hammer falls. He, he straight up got full life back and pulled out an Ash to Tamer-like weapon and just started blasting me. Details of the arrangement. As promised, here are the details. Another slate will be delivered to you shortly. It contains the locations of dozens of small remote farms spread across the Freestar Collective. I want those farms cleared completely of all occupants. I'd prefer to avoid violence, but these people can be stubborn, so do what you must. There can be no witnesses for what comes next. Once a farm has been cleared, keep the area secure as my extraction team does its work. Act quickly, especially in areas close to Aquila. The rangers can be slow to respond, but they'll catch on eventually. Let's make sure the job is done before then. 
destroy this slate as soon as you're finished reading it. Hope. All right, I got a really cool outfit. The first mercenary outfit. Free start captain's log. Would you, there's Pacton's hat. Oh, yeah. Putting on Paxton's really cool hat. Wall safe, Oxhorn, says Kimosabi. Oh, man. Oh, that's only advanced. Thank you, chat. All right, that's got to go there, which means this uh, has to go here. So that's the plot. Um, I mean, I'm glad. Because I want to clean up the Freestar Collective. I'd hate for this quest line to end and we leave a bunch of corrupt Council of Governors in charge. Uh, and yet it was a bit predictable. And I'm really interested to see what Ron Hope's motivation was. Wasn't he rich enough? All right, look, I've got a ton to loot here and I want to be methodical and I don't want to miss anything, but I'm out of time and I know it's going to take me like 15 minutes at least to finish looting absolutely everything. I, I don't know, I might have gotten most of it. Anyway, I'm out of time now, so I'm going to do a hard save here. And uh, in my next broadcast, we'll complete this portion of the Freestar Collective quest line. And I think we are actually pretty close to the end. So perhaps we'll finish all of it next live stream. That's the hope, everybody. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Claw Biggs says, we don't mind watching you loot. Thank you very much, Claw Biggs. You can watch me loot tomorrow when I have a little bit more time. Thanks for coming, everyone. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday, and I'll see you all again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.